Mm -hmm. I am also good to go. Hello, everyone. How are oh, yeah, you today? Another thing I forgot to mention, guys. If uh, <clears throat> my stream stops randomly, it is storming very bad outside, and it's supposed to just be getting worse. If that happens, I'll try to reconnect. If I can't get back in, we will just call the session there and have to pick up where it leaves off. Okay. Perfect. Good. Everyone just stare in the bottom Sasty. right at Meat Shield. <laughs> bottom right? Alright. Hello, Eily! Hello. Oh my god, your staring is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> That is actually scary. But will he ever notice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I, I don't know what he's doing. He's still on the starting soon screen. I don't know. <laughs> he was setting up his dice cam or something, right? Wasn't he? He's deafened. He can't hear us. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, they, there he is. All right, he's going to do his intro, and then we should be... Am I supposed to hear music, by the way? Uh, if you, yeah, if you want to, though, you join the YouTube uh, viewing thing in Discord. Oh, join my everybody. lord. Sorry I didn't do a real intro thing, guys. I can't guys. have anything else open. Okay. I was a little yeah. rushed. <laughs> the it's just going to be on in the background. It doesn't open a new window or anything. I'm just... sorry. When I said last week, oh, my God, I'm struggling with stuff. Did you not go, I can help with that. I can show you how to set up your screens. <laughs> Yeah, I can set up my screens. <laughs> I just have, I have a very old computer. I have only got the capacity to run so many tabs without it blowing up. <laughs> okay, where's the YouTube link? It's um, not a link. It's just, it's in it's, the Discord call itself. So it's not a new yeah. window or anything Hello. like that. Hello. Oh, Hello. It's in the Discord. Yeah, Hang just on. like Where? sharing a stream. There's a person in the call called YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh my goodness, everything froze for a second. Hang on. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that retro. Uh, I did potato. Thanks for that. Okay. Very happy. Oh, why activity. are my names all of a sudden? Oops, there we go. Um Okay. Did you find it, Ari? Eileen, how are yes. you doing today? You're DMing okay. right Here now, we go. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um so you've got the music going Jeez. on your thing now? At Yes. Here we go. Cool. Joining activity. Beautiful. Okay, Yo. so <clears throat> last time we left off, the party uh, took care of their goblin problem. There were some bumps along the way. Um, we kind of got to see a darker side of meat to shield. I love saying it like that. Um, <laughs> and... Some things happened with Naren. A shadowy figure which had appeared in the past has shown up. And even though he tried to play it off, it started to catch everybody's eye from him just yelling hey into the nothingness at a tower to just vanishing and then be just staring there with black eyes in the middle of a crowded street. So... I forgot what I was going to say. Either way, <laughs> some distrust seems to have been brewing between the party from that towards Naren. And our company went to the, uh, what was this? Something winch. And has decided to take a long rest there. I know I'm terrible at describing things and I can see stuff on whatchamacallit that shouldn't be there. One second, let me fix my map. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know why it popped those up there like that. That was fixed. But either way, so as we left off, the party took a nice rest. Uh, they meet, got the musicians to play a song for them. 
<laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure you were getting sloshed at the end, if I remember correctly, but yes. not in a happy he, he, way. He, no. <laughs> he, he was uh, very much done with that day. Now, it is bright and early in the morning, and a letter has come for Axion. This letter states that there is a surviving member of his monastery, and they are at another monastery waiting for him to complete some of his training after his pilgrimage. So he hurries off to go and see if he can find out more information to what happened and to learn his final path. So that is going to be where Axion has gone to. And... <laughs> eh, we'll get to that part later. But, <laughs> all right. Ari's joining us. Y- y'all find out later why. Sure. Hi, Ari. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Hi Ari. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. All right, so now, we it is early morning. We are in the tavern. It is not very busy. It's kind of quiet. Let's start off with... Saris, what are you doing? Uh, I think I'm just kind of... I'm gonna be sitting probably at one of these tables, just kind of silently eating a meal. Not really, not really up for talking too much. Uh, I don't know if anybody's sitting with me; it, it'd be fine. But mostly, I'm, I'm feeling more isolated today. I would say. Okay, uh, Naren. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm also feeling pretty isolated today. Uh, feeling pretty crappy, so I'm uh, sitting uh, <laughs> by myself at a table uh, up the up the top of this map there just uh eating quietly not uh not looking around my head sort of looking down at my at my plate a little bit meat shield uh me he's feeling a bit groggy from the day before obviously uh he did have a decent amount to drink um he will walk over to wards um uh saris and we'll sit down. He looks up at the. Uh, uh, sorry, were you eating? Were you, did you say? Yeah, I was just eating like a basic meal. Yeah. Yeah. He, he basically just like raises his hands towards the uh, like the barkeep or the any like waiter walking past, and just like, "Can I get some meat over here, please?" Um, and what? Hopefully, once the food turns up, he's just gonna sit with Sarah's eating, but isn't in a very talkative mood, seemingly. Banan's face. How dare these characters <laughs> react to <laughs> They're not allowed to talk. God damn it. Well, as sorry, I just noticed this YouTube thing says we've been watching for 38 minutes. Uh, I think you um, might have. But uh so the party just sits somberly in the city of Sicumber. And they're just enjoying their meal. Few patrons come in and out. Barkeep keeps going around with a waitress, refilling drinks, getting any food needed. Uh, Question, do our characters know about Axion yet? Yeah, we'll just say Axion. Let y'all know that he had to go. Okay. All right. Uh, Okay, are we all... Out of Sorry, character, are we all done with our meals, do you think? Or did you guys want to do anything extra here? I've got nothing extra to do here, but um, me's just going to, like, after he finishes eating, just look at you, Saris, and just be like, uh, so, I don't know about you. Yesterday sucked. Uh, 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 I don't know what we... Do you have any idea what we need to do now? I mean, Axion's just gone off to nowhere. I don't know where he's gone. Um what do we do now uh i think we have to push forward we we had we we made a promise we were to protect people and i think that still has to be the case no matter how much we might not want to at the moment i think we need to at least try i mean i agree with the sentiment i just meant Mm -hmm. what literally should we do now (laughs) 
That's a good question. Let me open up my notes. <laughs> 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 I can't be the only person that needs you. It's always I, me who needs to remember. I have notes. So, I'm just not part okay, of this conversation. Okay, fair enough. Hang on. Uh, uh, I just saw Bonan's face, and it just reminded me of that TikTok I made earlier of <laughs> DM's face, just looking like I swear to fucking Christ. Oh Jesus! Okay. You will genuinely try to destroy the party today. <laughs> Yo, remember okay, that ancient uh, dragon I warned you about. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I think we should get uh, Naren's opinion. Uh, he is still part of this, uh, so maybe we should we should go ask him, see what he thinks. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the first move. I'll walk over. I'm not really. I'm kind of avoiding eye contact. I would say, but I do walk over, and I'm like. Uh, do you happen to know where we should be heading at this point? Do you feel like we can continue with our with our journey here with you? Uh, I I hope that uh, that I can continue with you. Um, I mean, at this point, we're uh, we're done, right? Uh, Grecum asked us to take care of the goblins. Uh, we definitely took care of the goblins. Um, so I, I guess our, our next step would be to check in with, uh, with Grecum or the Silvery Moon Rangers, uh, to see what, uh, see if we're, we we are complete as far as I can work out. Uh, yeah, we, we did what they asked. I'm going to look back at, uh, at me as well as I look between them and I'm like, um, do you, do you think we took care of all the goblin uh, attacks possible here i i doubt that that was the only group of goblins in the area but if you if both of you feel like that was all of it we can go back and check in with with uh with the leader well i mean we spoke to various different sources yesterday and they all kept saying it was coming from the same location we went to that location and killed the goblins so i don't i think i would call the problem settled I feel I like the uh I feel like we have provided a good incentive for any other goblins in the area to not continue that sort of activity as well. All right. Should we start heading back to Grecum then? I mean, are the silvery moon rangers or whatever located here as well? Do we have to go all the way back to where we were that was a long trip would we know of that out of character would we would we know of that uh well it'd be more of a history check i would have thought because <laughs> i well, don't did was it mentioned at all that there would be like somebody we meet up with in this area rather than just going back Naren, if if he wants to do a history roll he can because Naren has spent time in silvery moon i will do a history check Does a 21 hit? <laughs> <laughs> Recalling, Silvery Moon is quite far. And elves tend to not like the others too much in this area. So you would know that the rangers probably don't venture too far away from the city and the woods. So they would not be this far south. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't believe we will find, uh, the rangers here. Uh, we would need to head, uh, back north closer to their, uh, their area of operation, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think we'll find anyone around here. What town was that again? It's a great question. That's not in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in mine either. <laughs> what? What town are you looking for? Where the <laughs> Silvery Moon Rangers were located when we first saw them. Yeah, the we very didn't... first city you ever... Westbridge. Yeah, that anything. one. Yeah, Westbridge. Exactly. Okay. Westbridge. Take okay. notes! I take notes. Sometimes I just don't take the right notes. It's fine. <laughs> Fucking DMT is. I can feel them. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I got you, Bonehead. I got you. <laughs> it's really concerning because the problem is my character is the dumbest one in the party. He will not. I might know this shit. My character won't. I... Yeah, I'm supposed to be one of the smartest ones, and uh, IRL, I'm definitely not. So, like, it's not a great combination. The way I was taking notes in the first two sessions, I, I lost them all. So now I'm good. <laughs> I have notes now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> all right. So. Since we since we know that they are not here, I suppose we have no other choice but to head back to uh, Westbridge and check in with Grekum if they are still there. Otherwise, we don't really have a line of communication with. Okay. Okay. Is there a fast travel option? <laughs> <laughs> well, as Bruh. the party steps out of the tavern, it is just a very foggy early morning. It's kind of cool. It seems like it's going to be a cooler spring day more than on the warm side. And so the party is just wanting to do a several day fast travel to Westbridge. No conversations, nothing. We should probably have conversations. <laughs> um, well, I'm just saying I don't want to do the travel and then be in a time where I'm like, come on, guys, talk. talk. No, that's fair. If y'all don't um, want to talk, then we I, can yeah. just do it. I was going to say, you can, can kind of still be a fast travel travel-y travel-y type thing, but just is there a specific conversation you'd have along the road? Yeah. Uh, we think, I think I think that Saris would want to see where Naren's head is at with everything. Um, how, are we, how are we getting there again? Are we... Just walking, I guess. Are we just walking? That's really all y'all have. I forgot if we had a horse left or not, but... Uh, yeah, I think we had a horse, Ooh. singular. Okay, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, so we're traveling, and um, I, I kind of kind of peek over at Naren every now and again. It takes me a bit of time to kind of drum up what I what I want to say, uh, but eventually I, I I do speak out and I say uh, so about about yesterday. Uh, how how are we meant to? to trust that you are uh, a good person to have along at this point. Uh, look, I, I don't know how to answer that. I am sorry that I uh, wasn't upfront and uh, honest, um. Um, but I... Uh, I was I was given a uh, a task to do. Uh, I didn't know how to explain that. Um, and yeah, I uh, I promise I'll try and be more open in the future. But uh, yeah, everybody has their secrets, but do not use me again, or we are gonna have a problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. Wait, 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 wait. Me, you, I was going to say, and Sarah, you might want to roll perception if you want to see this, because I'm going to die. <laughs> Just to see if you notice me Okay. Paying attention to this conversation at all, like okay, is that the DM, of his I will eye? definitely roll per per <laughs> No, no, I'm just saying, just because it'll be funny if you notice it. I want you to uh, be like, I rolled a 23. So okay, so you are 100. percent You are 100 percent of seeing me like at the corner of his eye, just look over his shoulder and get like this stupid smirk on his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! As he, hang on, that is it. Let me just double check. It's. It's not touch, is it? No, it's verbal somatic. You see him like mumbling to himself and just doing like a little wave of the hand towards Naren. <laughs> and me's gonna cast charm person. Um, by the way, you don't have subtle spells, so it's gonna be obvious that you're doing it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the, the thing is, Naren will know Naren will know what happens. So he's just like, oh and uh, <laughs> okay. so cast charm person on Naren. <laughs> So um, this is what happens. Me turns around since apparently me's in front and just looks at Nairon and goes, Una Bunga Una Hindaya. Um so Nairon's now what do you have what do you have to roll? Yeah, what's the plan here? <laughs> uh it's a saving it? throw, is it not? It's a wisdom saving throw? Uh yeah, wisdom saving throw 14. Alright. Okay. 
Nairin? Uh, I don't know what this spell does, but I'll do a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Uh, I rolled a 15. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, you see a pink, like, mist come out from Meat Shield and start to envelop you, but then nothing happens. As you just kind of blow it off. <laughs> Wait, I, I see this? Yes, yes, it's all yeah. no like it's very it's and cement. <laughs> so what me turned around and started doing all these hand gestures toward you while saying stuff, and then a pink puff of like smoke came out toward you. But you kinda just and it went away. And I noticed this too, right? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Everybody would everybody I, right here notices this. Would I be aware of what spell that was supposed to be? Uh I mean if you can cast it, probably. Uh, Oh, um, yours are prepared it. stuff, so let me see if I can cast. I don't think I can cast charm. No, I can't. So I, uh, then, then then I, I would say check. no, not really. No, okay, no, I'd say no, okay, without uh, like detect magic or something to see the type of class it is and everything. I'd just say no, okay. Uh, in that case, uh, I just kind of give me a bit of a bit of a weird look. Uh, what, what were you trying to do exactly? Uh, me kind of just turns back around to face the front, keeps walking, goes, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we go with <laughs> No, I, is such I, a trusting group. I, yeah. <laughs> I think at this just point, I'm actually, one of those coming. <laughs> I'm actually raising my staff. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all good. No, you're fine, right? <laughs> Why are we casting spells <laughs> onto each other, me? We just Look, went over how we're supposed to trust each other. That it was meant to help with that. <laughs> what were you doing? I was gonna make him a little friendlier and a little bit more open with us, okay? You that has to happen with time. That's no, not no, magic does the same thing. It's fine. He know even if it had worked, he knew it, he would have known about it. It just would have meant that he would have had to. He would have liked us a little bit more in the moment, and might have told us. Made sure we could have confirmed he was telling us everything. Okay. Magic can also spray your brains across the road. Talk to me about it first. <laughs> well, we tried. You can't talk to us about talking to each other. Okay, you lied to us. You hid stuff from us. You don't get to pull that card. Just, just, just say. And really, you want to talk to me about brains over the road? Really? Come on, little man. Uh, pretty sure uh, since we've started traveling together, I've got the most kills. Ooh, you need me. Because... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny. That's only because you hid in the background while I took every ounce of their attention. <laughs> we, you want to start this? We can do this right here. Or Enough. you can this is not or... getting us anywhere. You can keep walking along the road and just keep telling us the truth. Okay? And buy me a drink in the next town. Done. Jesus. Me, he's still like, he's not being angry about this. He's still being like half playful. He just, he was just like, eh. I thought it was funny to give it a shot. I, God. Naren's pissed. Turns around. Yeah, sits there, crosses his arms. Not talking to anyone. Yep. <laughs> that's fair, honestly. <laughs> okay, so traveling. Awkwardly. More so than before. Fantastic. Glad we fixed that. <laughs> yeah. Get <laughs> that right in the bud. God, that escalated so fucking quickly. And Bonin just like, I swear to God, I can't with this fucking party. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Not me rolling ancient dragon damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the party, you, that's y'all's only conversation you want to have? Oh, uh, I think any wait, conversation when... <laughs> done after me did that. Well, uh, I, I just want to know if we're going to continue on with the just random fast travel. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, if that's, that was like the be toward the beginning of the traveling, I would assume, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. Okay. And like you said, it was seven day travel. Uh, something like that. 
Okay, in that case, I'm going to... Gonna... Oh, I guess I should put us on the actual map. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, that that would be nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> either way, wherever the hell we are, uh, I'm not one to let things fester like that, especially when I have to be stuck with the problem of... <laughs> a party that doesn't trust each other <laughs> um so along the way i'm gonna bring it up it's probably been like a couple of days since since the last big conversation that we just had well um <clears throat> how how much time are you wanting to pass by it's a good question does anybody have any objections to like maybe like none four to five days of long travel no that's good. Right. okay okay well so this, if you take him the same road back through the Ardent Deep Forest and up to the Long Road, mm -hmm. you are approaching a familiar area, Saris. There are carts heading towards Durnwich. You would recognize this. I Go definitely on. would. Okay. I have two sets of notes for some reason. Hang on. <laughs> Oh, where's my... Okay, there it is. There's my history. Oh, hey! That's where I, that's where I was born. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. So they're going towards Dornwich? Is that what you yes. said, Donan? Okay. Uh, in that case, I see... I definitely want to uh, see... In my mind, that means that there has been some re rebuilding happening in town. So I definitely want to go in that direction, see how the town is doing. Uh, so I'm kind of, I'm going to, uh, listen, I know we're probably not great for pit stops right now, but I would really need to check out uh, my, my hometown. They got raided by the same enemies that we had fought previously uh, in Westbridge, uh, or at least the same same species i don't know if they were connected but i do need to see how my how my hometown is is doing they this is like i don't know man all i do is wander around let's go and naren or do you have any objections to this <laughs> <laughs> petulant child <laughs> i just i just me, me literally like, just caught a stop and just like pokes him like hey oh my god hey. i I just make a grunt and uh, whatever. I'm I'm taking that as a yes. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're gonna make our way to the Dornwich, following the carts. All right. Uh, one second. I'm trying to find some the past notes. I didn't label things properly. All good. I feel like everybody okay. here's taking bad notes so no. far. So. As you approach, you would see a very, very familiar sight, Saris. Uh, um, it's still Durham, which I think I actually, we had a, oh, I didn't put the map on rule 20. Um, let's see if I can pull the map up real quick and put it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, well that's happening. Not, were you going to have I a conversation again, Saris? <laughs> Uh, I'm a bit distracted at the moment, I'm going to be okay. honest. <laughs> okay. I have better things, I guess, to worry about at the moment. Okay, I don't think I actually saved the image of Dern. Unfortunately. Bless you. So, no. Y'all oh, okay. come up to a town where there are several buildings that have obviously been burned down a while ago with some carnage. However, there is a group of humans with carts looking like they are starting to rebuild some of the buildings um as you come in it's like most cities here where there is a it's a fort going in with farms on every side because this was a farming uh village and then it comes to a square with a fountain in the middle and it's a crossroad with one it like, you can see going north and south, but they don't look like they go on forever. They look like they stop at the end um, with a farm and woods. So there's only one main road through town. At the square, if you keep walking, uh, as you head that way, you will see on the left where there was a farm, um, there are a bunch of graves dug now. 
I'd say probably in the range of about eight to ten graves. Um, mine, it was the left one my family's farm? Or no, your right fam one? your family was um at the road going north all the way at the end. Okay. Um well, as we and, walk in, I'm definitely trying to see if I recognize anybody that might know anything. On the right, there is what looks to be just basically look like a uh, burn pile where you can see bits of bone where you think it might have been them burning the null corpses that were there. Okay. Um, standing in the group of humans, you do recognize... Uh, where's his name? Um... Rajan Moongift, uh, the shopkeeper. Oh, right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I needed to write that name down. But... <laughs> okay. Rajan <laughs> Okay. Gotcha. He sees you, and he comes up. Oh, Saris, I'm so glad you've seen it, uh, that you've come back. Um, what I was going to say was, uh, mm -hmm. you guys would notice this man is missing an eye. <laughs> It has like a uh, scar over it and everything. Okay. I definitely remember he's, who that is now. He's a middle aged man, uh, starting to gray and bald. He's just wearing like a simple, um, like a botanist, uh, I guess, apron type deal on over his clothes. Um, what, what brings you back uh, to Dunwich? Did you find anything uh, else out about your family? Uh, 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 I kind of look sheepishly back at my party because clearly they don't know anything about me. But uh, I, I, I kind of go, uh, no, nothing yet. Uh, I, I did come back here since I saw carts heading back into town. I was, I was wondering how the rebuilding has come along. If anybody's seen, uh, you. seen anything? Oh, Retro, uh, good, by the way. Yeah, I think he's dying. <laughs> Um, well, while I was in a uh, Red Larch, I found a couple more just survivors, and we decided to go to Waterdeep and get help, and we're gonna start trying to rebuild. After all, we do provide a lot of the wheat for this area, so it I thought it'd be good best to have us back up and running with the fields that aren't completely destroyed. It's gonna be a a cold. No, man. fuck. I'm on the wrong thing. I was thinking fall. Fuck. <laughs> Where are we? What season is it? Yeah, it's, it's spring. spring. Sorry. Oh, oh My head's fine. a little. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a good year, I think, for a harvest, so we need to get the crops going. No, I, I think that is smart. Uh, it's best to try to rebuild and get town back up and running as, as we see fit. Um, are, are you... Just going to stay around and help, or? Uh, I, what, what do you think would, uh, would, what do you think we could aid with? We, we just need hands to help build the houses for the farmers to stay in. Not many buildings are left intact, really. Um... I I think that I have another mission that I need to worry about right now sent from my church. However, I, I just wanted to, to check in and see how town has been. And and maybe I could come back after my, my mission is, is fulfilled. Oh that that's no problem. Um if you see anybody you recognize, just let them know we're starting to build the town back. I was told that the knolls had been completely taken care of, so we should be safe to rebuild. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. Let me know if you find your parents. Okay. And no, no, what do you know if anybody here would have heard of them, heard from them at all? Um, most of the people here are from Waterdeep, the few survivors we had are still um, back at the temples. Some of them had some pretty nasty injuries. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh kinda give him a firm nod of like kinda like to situate that hey, hope I'm glad you're doing good. Uh and then maybe turn back to the party. 
give like a big sigh and uh i think we can move on now okay so the party turns around and starts heading back to the long road does anybody want to have conversations <laughs> yeah is any conversations want to be had or just, just fast travel work. again you're muted by the way retro <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. hi. Oh, okay. Um, never mind then. Uh, I was just like, like me was just going to go like, uh, so, Saris, uh, you didn't mention you're looking for your parents. What's that about? Uh, well, they're not really my my main mission given to, given to me by Lathander. However, uh, seems like my town has burned down by, by null attacks uh, while I was away. Uh, I came back to it being burned down, and my my family's been missing ever since. But surely Thunder will will make sure that they are safe wherever they are. Right. I mean, if you really believe that, why are you looking for them? I feel that sometimes Lathander needs us to push things along in his favor. And hopefully that favor means that my family will end up being okay. I just need to know where they are. That's all. I hope the best for your family. To me, it just sounds like a lazy god, but sure, let's go. And I don't really he have... just moves on from that. <laughs> He's just like, me does not do with religion. <laughs> no, that's totally fair. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't think that I really respond to that as well. I'm just kind of, yeah, it's just, yeah, I just kind of let it let it go. Uh, I do look back at Naren though, who you, I'm assuming you've been the same since the last conversation, Naren. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. a little bit upset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I think we should make a pact, uh, unless it is an absolute emergency that we do not deceive one another, do not work any magic on one another until we can fully trust each other again. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You're okay with that grumpy ass? Only if this idiot doesn't try and do something to me again. I'll... You pull that again, I'll show you what magic really is. This guy's funny. I like him. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if that's all the party has to say. Y'all have a... <laughs> rather uneventful traveler past the awkward tension between everybody that did not get soothed over at all by those conversations. <laughs> right, probably made slightly worse. Probably. <laughs> I, I still find it highly hilarious that after he fucking has his dark god, you know, <laughs> bullshit last time, he's just like, how dare you try to pull some shit on me and not just talk to me. Hey, I didn't right. make the dark god happen. It just happened. You definitely <laughs> fucking lied about it. And used us. <laughs> you used us. You lied about well, it. I was going to say, Come he on. actually told the truth, then lied about it right after telling the truth. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <remember> <laughs> Not very good lie. <laughs> All right, so the party, y'all make a quick, well, not really quick, but y'all make it there. <laughs> y'all have entered the city. Uh, so, do y'all remember where to go? So we're back. Do we have a uh, yeah, it's, it's about midday, and... <laughs> Does anyone remember where Greckham actually was? I need the map, I think. I think I'm gonna need a visual on on it. Oh, wait, no, that was the last city. Okay, never mind, I don't think we have yeah. a full map for... Uh, for oh, last, uh, last time he just said he was to come find him. But we were in a tavern. I don't know yeah. where he is. And I then I vaguely remember being very, very drunk. And that's about it. That's a fair point. Uh, do you both think we should head back to the inn, see if they've heard anything from Reckon or seen them around town? Any of the Silvery Moon Rangers? Yeah, sure. I'm following your lead, man. 
I hate being leader. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that we should do that then. Let let us see if uh if we can if we can find a way to him. All right. So y'all go back to the tavern. Mm-hmm. I want to say who remembers the tavern's name? Oh, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Crimson Rooster in. Yes. Hey. <laughs> oh. I almost wanted to give you an inspiration just for that. Oh, please do. <laughs> I, deserve, I deserve a treat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, y'all make it back and go in inside the Crimson Rooster. Mm-hmm. It has the name of. quite a few people in it. Not a, It's not exactly full, but it's got several people in it. Let me reuse the thing that y'all been using boy these taverns all look the same don't they <laughs> look it's one of those uh it's a franchise special... yeah it's a franchise <laughs> oh god it's just an applebee's wait no that was very american uh it was <laughs> uh, it's it's <laughs> never mind i have nothing else <gasps> okay i finally just got the rent to actually managing the amount of money we've got okay Oh, by the way, Ooh, shit. would we, we have it? taken long rests along the way? I, yeah, yeah, there would have been long rests. Yeah. Okay, so just making sure. I, I didn't I know even that... bother taking out the spell slot. For mine. Okay, yeah, that's what but I was going to check. It's a seven day, it was a seven-day yeah. travel, so that's seven yeah, yeah. long rests. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Cool. Okay. Well, y- y'all are in the tavern. Okay. Y'all uh... see there are, I'd say, probably about 20 people in here. Okay. And is the barkeep the same one that we... Uh, we're talking to the previous time yeah, we were yeah. here. You, you, if you look behind the bar, you do see the half orc standing there, okay. wiping a glass, doing the barkeep thing. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to him. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, good day, sir. Uh, I was wondering if uh, if you'd heard anything about the Silver Moon Rangers in town. We had, we last saw them here after the the wreckage of the Knoll attack. And we wonder if oh. maybe you're looking for the rangers. <laughs> yes. Well, they they're having a good time upstairs. They're the big room. Okay, uh, the big room, and we're just allowed to go up there. I mean, it's just upstairs. Okay, you can knock if you want to. I mean, going in someone's room without knocking is kind of rude. All right, the big room. Appreciate the information. Thank you. Uh, um, yeah. I uh, I think this is a great time to uh, stop and have a quick drink after our uh, after our travels. What do you think? Uh, drink sounds good. Yeah. And he uh, he walk, uh, me walks up to the barkeepers. I was like. No. My man, and like slaps down some coin. <laughs> no, no, this one, this one is on me. Um, barkeep, get me a drink. Um, your finest. Uh, my my finest. Yeah. Oh no, uh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, he just, I recognize he just that goes into the he goes into the uh, cellar hatch you see at the top of the screen. And in a couple minutes, he comes back up with a bottle of mead. Oh, uh, I mean, are you sure you're my finest? Tell me a bit about it. <laughs> uh, well, it has a horse on it. It's been <laughs> aged for 20 years. I believe this particular bottle is an elderberry from the stallion winery it's good that year. Much? 50 gold 50 gold no it's not worth that <laughs> oh, you said finest <laughs> look at we look at how much good stuff here look at how much dust is all over you're never gonna sell that i'll do oh, 10 I... gold oh god here we go <laughs> roll persuasion <laughs> um before he does that, can I, 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 I like slap him on the back and it's like, uh, um, what's it called? 
I, I agree with this man, and I cast guidance on him. <laughs> Isn't that also uh, verbal? It's verbal and somatic. No, you. <laughs> yes. I was gonna say you have to do the somatics and. Oh. Well, the somatic oh, is touch. Please. It's touch. It's just tapping his back. What What is your friend saying? Um. <laughs> so yeah, basically. You, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> you go, 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 go. <laughs> no, 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 it's a touch component. It's just I slap his back and I just go, I, 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 I agree with what you're saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it, it's okay. verbal, but it's the somatic part is like just touch. So it's just slapping his back. And then, yeah, you can add a D4 to any, any old ability check of your choice. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with that language. So <laughs> it's, it's druidic. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't worry about it. I, 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 I get it. Oh, I see. I'm just kind of looking on in amazement at how much these two are willing to, to, to go for. <laughs> Aaron, what was what was your persuasion? Uh, so my persuasion is uh 14. And add a d4. Roll a d4. All right. Add another four to that. So that's 18. Okay. 18. Uh. I can't do 10, but I can do 40. Come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> I don't know, 40's... 40's getting close to me not making anything off this. I can't justify 40. It's it's crazy. You're you're being insane. What's the best you could do for ten gold? <laughs> Give me the best bottle of of whatever you could do for ten gold for this man. Um. Okay. He's just gonna go back in the cellar. About three minutes go by. He comes back out. Uh. Well, I got this bottle of apple wine for ten gold. Done. Me enjoy your wine. <laughs> He just like looks at you for a second, a bit like distrusting, like. <laughs> Barkeep, get us two glasses. And he's just like, <laughs> all right. What Ding. the fuck? <laughs> pulls out two the two glasses. glasses uh, pulls it out into the two glasses and goes, <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Now, do you pour glasses or do you pour like a wine serving? No. I pour out the bottle into half, like the glasses, <laughs> as much as possible. He fills them up. Okay. And he's just like holding it up, like, is he gonna cheer? Yeah, is cheers. This... Cheers. I apologize right, for, for lying, but uh, don't ever cast magic on me like that again. Okay, I promise I won't cast magic on you, but it won't be to do standing against you it'll be like <laughs> we might be fighting something i may need to help your ass i mean i can't, I, can't, I literally cast magic on that guy's butt cheeks to get him to stand up the other day like i do know. remember that yes listen i'm gonna do me <laughs> and, and, and did you see like this slight smirk in his face as he realizes this, the, the pun he made on his own name then and he takes a little bit too much pride in it <laughs> and then he downs the drink Naren uh, doesn't down the drink, slides it across to uh, me. <laughs> and no, says, no, 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 oh, no. You're drinking with me. No, no, this was for you. <laughs> this was for you. You wanted me to buy you a drink. I've done it. I uh, I don't feel that yeah, well. Yeah, you buy me a drink, but you drink with me. No. That's how we... <laughs> no, no, no. That's how you make friends. You need <laughs> friends, Naren. <laughs> 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 and he pushes the glass back over. He's not taking no for an answer. Um, Naren takes a very small sip and then sort of turns and tries to pour it on the ground. Uh, roll a sleight of hand versus a perception. Say, you oh. know my perception is a plus six, right? <laughs> Fuck! Oh. But yeah, as y'all y'all both taste in the wine, it is a very sweet can, can, but very if strong. Is looking, if anyone is looking at my can, wine. 
It's it, that's seventeen plus six. That's a twenty-three. <laughs> Whatever you are doing, I am fucking seeing that shit. Naren, w- Naren, watch your sleight of hand. Uh, it's a ten. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you, he, me definitely sees what you're doing. You're trying ever so slightly to pour it out the side, but you are kind of pouring it on your leg and down the side of you. <laughs> it's very, very noticeable. And you can just hear the sound of liquid hitting the floor. And he's just like, oh, that, I feel that was a waste of good alcohol, my friend, but uh, if if you're... If you didn't want to drink alcohol, just say so. I, I'm not a drinker. What can I say? <laughs> uh, we'll we'll I, change that eventually. And then uh, he, he takes the rest of the bottle. Okay. Uh, uh, I am so sorry. My computer was freaking out. I could not hear anybody for whatever the fuck just happened there. <laughs> Don't worry about uh, it. Make it a slight recap. <laughs> Naren tried Naren. to pour out the wine, but wasn't very sneakily about it. Me just watched him pour it out. Now, me took the bottle and is going to drink it himself. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Question. Me, do you drink that whole bottle? Uh, he's not smashing it, but he is drinking it over, t- like, he'll probably f- drink it over the period of an hour, I think. He's, he's, he, he knows he's still here to do something. This isn't the end of the day for him. Okay. Um, yeah, what time of day is it, actually? It's about midday. Okay. From what you can tell. Gotcha. All right. Uh, is there anything else I can get you, gentlemen? Uh, no, no. I'm heading upstairs to go say hello to our friends. And he takes the bottle with him. Yes. Uh, thank you for, for your service. Appreciate it. Hey, Crunchy. Hello. And I'm going to follow me upstairs, who clearly just <laughs> really is beelining toward that area. I'll go for it. All right. <laughs> I'm uh, going to follow them as well, but keep a little bit of distance remembering what happened last time we were at this inn. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> All right. So you mentioned that it's the biggest room. Uh, which room do we all think that is? Is it obvious? Because, like, isn't it it's, just it's, like a... I mean, it's the big middle it, room the, that where all the noise would be coming from. Listen, I don't know how... Oh, you, you, you hear... Oh, oh, I uh, see uh, the Give me perception. <laughs> Everybody give me perception. Perception. That's uh, another 23. <laughs> an 11. I got a, I got a 7. <laughs> oh. Me hears yeah. the sounds of what sounds like females giggling. And so here's like the sense a... of his people. <laughs> <laughs> and this sounds like somebody's having a really good time, from what you can hear me. Saris and Naren, you're kind of distracted looking around, but yeah. between the noise from the downstairs and everything, you're trying to figure out where to go. Right, okay. Me, also you can hear, it that... sounds like it's coming from down here. Yeah. Also, the mm. fact that uh, there's no door in that middle room would be making us wonder where to go. That, that's not that's not a room. <laughs> oh, that okay. you can see down to the you can see down to the bottom. Oh, floor. okay, okay. Yeah, that's why you see the no. tables. Yeah, from the bottom. Yeah, okay. Uh, me heads towards that room, knocks on the door, is like, I have good mead. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear like a, oh, go a scrambling from. Yeah, you drag y'all's characters. Y'all can do that. Where you where y'all get one. Oh, okay. uh, normally I could do that, but now I'm not, I can't. You still says you have uh, oh, yeah. control over it, so... I also can't drag my character. Is it because I pulled him out? Probably. I'm going to pull mine out right now in front of everybody. I'm going to go right here. <laughs> okay, yeah, pull, pull your own characters out. I think if I pull them out, it locks them for you. Okay, I'll wait for, for, uh, <laughs> for me to police themselves i was already there what the hell happened yeah i i pulled you off because i'm the one at place that oh we're in it oh I, I my all right i'm gonna stand okay right here i guess as y'all are at the door you hear a scrambling and you hear who is it me 
<laughs> Who's me? I'm me. What's me's name? Me. I don't understand why this is so confusing. What does me have a name? What is me called? Me is called me. I am called me. Do you want me or not? I'm here at a party. We killed the goblins. You want some booze? Gobl goblins? Oh, come in, come in. <laughs> and then you hear the door unlock. Um, he just charges in. Yep, I and y'all see, y'all see, an elven man with just pants on, and three girls in the bed. Are He's they like, clothed? Oh. No, they're under okay. sheets. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna bashfully kind of look away from from the nakedness. Ah, gentlemen, welcome. Wait, is now, this really like just could... me? Yes, you, I don't I assume you didn't ask last time, but yes, it is. That's that's something. So y'all, <laughs> y'all had a success. Yes, we did. You want a glass, or just there? Yeah, have a have a swig and just like le like holds a bottle out towards him. Don't don't mind if I do. <laughs> so now this is how you party, and he's like looking at the party, so they like this this <laughs> right here. <laughs> You're a lot oh. funner when you drink. You were really getting on my nerves last time we met. Ah, <laughs> uh, water under the bridge. Uh, so, y'all killed the goblins. We did. Save the did. day. Thank you, heroes. Well, you're not. That's small time shit for what I got planned for y'all. Planned okay. for us? Are we still working for you? That was just a test to see if y'all were even good enough to work for the Rangers. I told you if you passed, we'd hire you and pay you well. Okay, mm. well, you passed. We passed. So, I'm here. I mean, if, if... Here's, here's the rest of the money that uh, I owed you since I paid you half up front. Everybody take 25 gold. Where's, wait, wasn't there four of you? Uh yes, our, our our monk friend uh was was called off, but uh but it is the three of us now. Uh we do uh, plan on wait, do, did we know if we were gonna meet him again? Out of character. You know I don't know. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll, we'll uh, run into him at some point. He he, he helped out, don't worry. We'll pass right, we'll we'll along him, his gold. We'll give him his gold then, to share. No, nah, I think I think I'll hold on to it, you know. Looks over at the ladies and the alcohol. You never know. Might keep it safe from vagabonds, criminals, people who would squander it on useless things. He earned that gold. He Solid fought alongside tip us. Wise, but... And he will get it when he comes to collect. How do I know you're you not get? trying? Well, that's his problem. You gotta, you gotta go back to the person that you did a job for if you want them to pay you. I don't know you're that you're not going to just take his money and run with it. I mean, the whole idea is we're your employees, I guess. That would be beside the point. You're going to see us more regularly. But how do I not know you're going to just steal his paycheck? And use how it do I not yourself? know you're not going to steal his paycheck and use it for yourself? Well, you don't, but I'm the one exactly. paying. Exactly. I'm the one paying. You're the one getting paid. He'll get his money once he you shows did back nothing. up. Nothing. Oh, whatever. Nothing. You, said, you think I've done nothing? To I kill by myself goblins? just took out a whole pack of dire wolves. That's why I'm oh, back no. here celebrating. Well done. I can turn into one for shits and giggles. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you also got your ass handed to you by a couple gnolls. So I don't know about you, but I didn't take a single bit of damage. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thing is, it took you forever to kill him. So. I was having fun. Either way, I will pay him directly. Cut out a middle middle man. Yeah, whatever. Either way, <laughs> me, me, there's me more work for more money if you want it. This job, 
it's going to pay a little better because now you're in the service of the Silvery Moon Rangers if you want to be. What do the Silvery Moon Rangers, what is the purpose of this group? Well, I wasn't supposed to really talk about this, but if you're going to be employed, you got to know what's going on. Agreed. So, things have been happening in the woods, and we're still on the fence about what is exactly going on. We've noticed the drow, all um, other sorts of creatures from the Underdark have been leaving their homes and going into the woods, and other creatures from the woods are leaving, and... We are finding fey remnants, but we don't know why the fey are being hostile, if they even are. We don't know if they're being attacked by all these creatures, and they're just forcing them out by defending themselves, or if they're causing this. Either way, we are on containment duty to try and keep the cities as you saw with the Null attack, from being sacked. Silvery Moon is taking it upon themselves since this problem seems to be originating from our woods. Mm. We've also had strange portals show up with creatures come out with that leave a faint green light. Cough, cough, Naren. Uh, <clears throat> so... We're just trying to contain it, and we're looking for people. We are kind of stretched thin with the drow problem. So, my party was sent out to kill what we can and to hire who we can to help. Okay. Uh, happy to fix the problem for you. You're welcome. But <laughs> you're going to need to be specific about the job so I could be specific about the pay. <laughs> well, at the moment... We're kind of finding out jobs through word of mouth because we've tracked down the couple of parties that we've been after. I will not be here for probably the next couple of months looking for more uh, misplaced beings. Right. So if you do want to keep working, I do have one job lined up for you at the moment. At least it's a direction. What have you got? So, in the Evermores, do y'all know what do y'all know where the Evermores are? Yo, I don't know Chris Carr, Thank you for Biddy. You were the first one to hear. Nairin that new for sound. sure knows because Nairin traveled through the Evermores to get here. Yes. Um. Saris, me, roll history. Okay. Did you I like it? So I have a six. <laughs> uh, history is neg one, so <laughs> thirteen. You know, you know of the Moors, me. You don't know a lot about them, but you know of the Moors and their geographic I'd, I'd, locations. Uh, probably like wandered by them or through them at some point. Yeah, something uh, like that. Yeah, I know of the Moors. Oh, no worries, Chris Carl. So there's been. Talks and rumors of trolls and orcs and drow getting together in the moors. Seeming like they're becoming a war party, and you can see how that's going to be bad for neighboring towns and the roads that go through the moors. We need these parties eliminated and safe passage maintained. Especially since those roads lead to Silvery Moon, and that's how we get rangers in and out and supplies. Fair enough. There is... So kill some guys you can't. Good. Well, I'll do it. <laughs> no, more like kill some too guys busy you can't. Good. send what, 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 what smaller pay? fish to take care of them. Uh -huh. well, what, what, what's the pay? <clears throat> uh... If you successfully get rid of them, I'd say probably about 500 gold used. between the lot of you. I like it. Make a 750. Roll a persuasion. 
I actually uh, have a that, stat sheet for him, so. Cool. Mm -hmm. That would be a dirty 20. Oh, nice. Bonan, you definitely look like Chris Kyle. I actually, uh, I actually got a few made up. Um, so I've got one for follower and one for where's persuasion for him, resub, and then that was I close. actually got, got a, a full on intro him. and outro done. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. That's 200 more than I originally offered. I also gave you health potions out of the kindness of my heart so you didn't die for your last mission. Not that we needed them, but sure, 700 it is. <laughs> is, that, is that all right with you too? Yes, yeah. 700 is perfectly fine. I'm just, yeah, I want to uh, help out. I agree. Okay. Cool. Well, um, you can go to uh, the city of Nesime to get leads on where these possible camps and parties could be hidden in the moors, because it is quite a dangerous place if you don't know much about them. Lots of lizard folks, orcs, trolls, goblins, all the nasties like to live in the moors. So... Take care of the war parties, and 700 gold is yours. Cool. Um, uh, as, uh, what's called, me, he's, like, leaving the room, and, like, because of his height, ducking under, like, the door frame, he kind of just, like, turns around to uh, the girls in the bed and is like, by the way, ladies, everything's very big, and then leaves. <laughs> 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 He's quite full of himself, isn't he? He looks at Saris and says that. Uh, he can be, but I also think that he believes exactly what he said. <laughs> he, he is. He is. <laughs> yes, he is big. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> Saris snuck a fake, did he? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to follow. It was for religious gonna... purposes. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I'm gonna follow me out and uh, just kind of just kind of move on. Hey yo, yeah, I uh, I man. also follow behind. And as y'all leave, you just hear the door close, and then Chris, hey, you can hear Greckum laugh, and the girls start giggling again. <laughs> Greckum's a player. Cool. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> what the fuck? Nothing. Don't worry about it. So the y'all head back down to the uh, bottom. All right. Perfect. What is what is the party's next move? I have to pee, so I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. No stress. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I was Just waiting to use that one. <laughs> I know. Perfect timing. Oh, oh, thank you, Chris Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to rewatch the VOD to get the notes for that one. I was just like... I, I got. I think I, I got you covered if you want to trade notes later. Sure. I was just like, I was going to say, Brain is uh, giving everything it has after the 24-hour stream just to focus on <laughs> the conversation uh, <laughs> and, and, and being present than actually writing fucking notes. Totally. Um, cool. Uh, I guess the, the next thing would be maybe looking for a different oh i honestly kind of uh i think the next thing would be maybe we should look for some form of transportation to get us there i've got a bit of money oh kitty we... there's a kitty oh kitty hello loki come back oh kitty cat i love kitties um but yeah uh, uh we've, do you think uh, we've we got should like, start in the morning no, uh decided i mean we can go shopping today and then head off first thing in the morning okay i agree with that it sounds like a good plan cool um sweet well then i guess naren you're just standing around listening ready to join in yeah 
Yeah, uh, <laughs> sounds like a good plan. Uh, we should get some transport. It is a uh, a long road. Uh, maybe yep. we should have a chat to the uh, to the innkeeper here about a room for the night as well. Yeah, we can get to that. We can get around to that. Yeah. Um, um, so I guess like B's going to finish off the last of the bottle over maybe another twenty minutes and then head out to with the party to go look for a cart or some form of mo- uh, transportation so we can Wait, get to the. Wait before we leave. Uh, I wanted I wanted Sarah to talk to the barkeep just really quickly. Uh, oh, yeah. I said over twenty minutes, so you can go do that while he's drinking. Okay, perfect. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you know of any shops for supplies uh, in town that we might be able to uh, take our business to? Uh, what sort of supplies are you looking for? Uh, a a blacksmith, an apothecary, an armorer. Is there anything in town that we might be able to? Uh, yeah, just just the shop around. Yeah, uh, if you're looking for blacksmith, uh, there's Ginnick. Um, he's a dwarf that runs the local blacksmith. It's, uh, let's see, his shop is, it's down the main road. You'll see a tailor's shop. Take a right. And it should be there on the left. And, um, a pocket theory? Hmm. I mean, usually we get some random, uh, travelers through, but the pocket theory is really in Red Lodge. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then I, yeah, I guess we're. Moving forward to town. Okay. Uh, cool. Does uh, do you guys want to go to anywhere specific first? If you have anything, I was just gonna go figure out how much it is to buy some form of transportation first, okay. and then maybe see if we still there's... have a horse. <laughs> we have a horse, singular. Okay. Do I we, am gonna say y'all what? y'all did not. Try to find your horse at the I when you asked. left the comfort. <laughs> we did. You <laughs> asked it before. We said we had a you horse. Asked, you asked if you still had one. Y'all didn't say y'all went and looked for it because y'all didn't park it anywhere this time. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Y'all yeah. left your um, horse because right, y'all yeah, we'll, not we'll, your horse. We'll need horse and cart and shit. We'll go find out how much that is. Okay. And then I want, I'll, I'll probably go look for some kind of like magic item shop if there's even one. Okay. Um, because yeah, that like considering when I wild shape, I can't cast spells. Any kind of um additional buffs I can get that are on something I can take into the wild shape would be helpful. Okay. Um. Uh, cool. So the party leaves. I think we're headed to the to the uh to see if we can get any, any vehicles first, right? Yeah. Okay. I need to know how much I need to spend on that before I can start worrying about <laughs> buying Thanks items and shit. All right. Okay, so what did y'all? Which one are y'all trying to find first? The transport. 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 All right. Um, y'all didn't ask about it, so perception checks. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, I am absolutely terrible at those. Eleven. Uh, sixteen. Twenty. Damn. Um, yeah, so Cyrus would be the first one to notice. Uh-huh. Because let's just say Cyrus remembered when y'all came into town, there was a place to park stuff. I did. Because I Cyrus did has parked that. there. It's true. It's true. It did happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I guess I lead the party back to that same place uh, and talk to the person who i assume looks like they are in charge it was another half fort but i'm gonna have to come up with another name because i forgot his name <laughs> it's 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 fine <laughs> i'm not gonna write it down anyway <laughs> all right well you go you go fine, fine fuck you um, <laughs> you go up there's a half work standing there with a uh like a notepad mm-hmm. behind a little podium thing 
Okay. Uh, uh, can I help you? Yes, it's good day. Uh, we're looking for, for transport, maybe a cart or, or a couple of horses outside of the city. Uh, so do you need a horse and a cart, a couple of horses, or just the cart? Uh, a cart and a couple of horses to make our way along more faster. Um, well, uh, I've got four horses for sale. Uh, uh, 50 gold a piece. The draft horses. Um, mm, cart, cart, cart. I have a covered wagon, no cart in particular. That's gonna run you about a hundred gold. And then another two gold for the bit and br- well, four gold because there's two horses for the bit and brittles. Okay. So you're looking at. 204 gold. Jesus. <laughs> um. uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm so sorry. One second. Yeah, no stress. Um, I was just going to say, uh, me's going to turn to like Nairon and Saras and just like, hmm, that's uh, very expensive. Uh, you want to like, We'll think about it, sir. And, like, mm. kind of pulls you guys outside. Um, out of, like, hearing range. And is going to, again... Who's got the... I've got a plus for uh, four to persuasion. Who's got... Have you got a higher one, Aaron, or... i got a plus two to persuasion. I don't this think... Hmm? Yeah. That potato does. <laughs> um... And then he's, well, I guess if, unless Patate's got a uh, better, me, he's got to cast guidance on himself <laughs> just in the middle okay. of the street. Um, <laughs> hey, you go, boogie, hey, you go, boogie. <laughs> There's nothing about verbal that says he has to yell it, okay? It's not quiet, though. That's why I did it out in the street where it's <laughs> charming again. Out of no, here. He's, he's casting guidance again. I'm just casting guidance on myself. Um, in, the, in the town. In the town, um, right. and then he's gonna like, but he's gonna do that like after waiting maybe like ten minutes, walk back in, and then go talk to the guy and go, "Listen, we'll, we come through a lot. We're we're working with the Silvery Moon Rangers. Cut us. We, we're doing work to make sure you're safe. How we took care of the gnolls. You, you can do us a good deal. Come on." <laughs> oh. I saw a couple of rangers take care of the gnolls. Uh, I can tell you what, if you want a place to drink, that had nothing to do with the rangers. We took care of that. Uh, well, they're the ones that stopped my place from burning down, so... Cool, and we work for them. So come on, you can do us a deal. Okay, I'll throw in the bit and brittle for free. 200 gold. That's not a deal. <laughs> it's for gold cheaper. I've got to make a living for my family. Horses saw, aren't cheap. Carriages aren't cheap. I, I saw it for about half that down the road. You can price match, right? <laughs> no, because down the road is over a day away. I'm willing to take that trip. Your prices are a little bit too high, my friend. <laughs> well... <laughs> Joy walking there. <laughs> um, fuck, if it wasn't a persuasion check, screw it. He's going to, because it's a, 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 a obvious anyway, he's going to cast Charm God. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> We're going to get kicked out of town again. <laughs> um... You need to roll a sa- wisdom saving throw. Please tell me he's got shit what wisdom. It? What? Oh, wisdom? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I use this die all Actually, the time. Guidance... I'm use a different die. This guidance. Can y'all... Can y'all read this one if I roll it? No, it's only to me making it. God damn it. Yeah, y'all can see that. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go with that. What was it? It doesn't work. 16. Fuck okay, off. So y'all, y'all, can, y'all can see the black die. So, yeah, Wisdom is not man. meant to be the one that people pass often. 
Okay. Why is everyone roll- doing well on fucking wisdom? Uh, well, uh, that's that's a little um, it's making you smell nice. Smell. Uh, uh, thanks so for your service. If, if you yeah you you out of here. I'm not gonna sell somebody who's trying to use magic on me. Do it again, just... and I'll have the guards. He doesn't know what it is. It was pink, sp- uh, pink, pink <laughs> mist. You're you're like... doing hand signs and you're saying shit very <laughs> lightly in front of him. And I said, I just made you smell nice for the rest of the day. I thought you'd enjoy the. And little you bit made of a pink magic. mist come out of nowhere. So <laughs> yeah. Pink mist makes him smell nice. At least I can do deception or something. <laughs> Jeez, now, idiot. <laughs> magic may be rare, but people aren't dumb to what it is. <laughs> there are buff spells and there are negative spells. Yeah, you still there, trying to a cast a spell person. on somebody. <laughs> ah, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we should get out of here before they yep. go. The yep. Right, I. Go on me. And then I, and I <laughs> pat him on the back, trying to make sure that we fucking leave before he says or does anything else. God yeah, damn it. you already got us kicked out of this town. We don't want to have to deal with the guards again. Uh, that'll be alright. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> alright, all right. so... Here's a big question as well. Yep. Does anybody in the party know where the fuck you're going? Uh, well, we know where the... I know what it's are, called like... that we're going. I just don't... You probably have okay. to roll for that. Uh, do we mean like right now shopping, like the blacksmith, or are we talking about yeah, where we're going when we leave town? Y'all, oh. y'all just told me you were going for. Oh, the... we we're leaving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't. Okay. So I don't know if y'all uh, are leaving, leaving or not. I think uh, me said they wanted some uh, some magical items, right, to go shopping for. Um. Yeah. The, the next thing that we're gonna look for is like a magic item shop. Okay, cool. Can't wait to barter there, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a oh. bartering episode, everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's not going very well so far. <laughs> okay, so... Y'all are looking for a blacksmith. Well, y'all have directions, so y'all are going to find the blacksmith. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. You, as you go... There's a little bit of a line, but if you wait your turn, it does it goes by pretty quick. You see a dwarvish man, and it's very strange because he's a younger dwarven man, but his hair's all blonde. Which is unusual for them. So Fair enough. Let's Oops, that is not correct. I do not want to give y'all uh I, I'm get legendary items. That no, that why not? no, that's why not. <laughs> level le- level level three it. and takes out fucking Tiamat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me see what the shop has. How can I help you, gentlemen? Man, everybody sounds the same. <laughs> me, <he's> just, yeah. <laughs> um, me. Uh, just wanted to browse your wares. Have you got any? Interesting magic items to consider. Uh, what do I look like, a fucking wizard? No, but you know you <laughs> might have come across stuff. Um, he looks around at his stuff. You see, like, long swords, um, some bows, there's a plate, uh, suit, some crossbow bolts. Um, no. Fuck it. Uh, oh, we're going to rest anyway before tomorrow. Okay, um, hang on. Does this have... <laughs> okay, he's just going to be like, uh, okay, well, if you don't know, do you mind <laughs> if I do a little bit of magic myself to see if there is something here that actually might be magical, and then we can discuss? Uh, I mean, go ahead, but I know my wares pretty good. I've made all of them myself. But then maybe you got successful. <laughs> um, okay. He's, he's, he's kind of just, just gotta, like, looking like, what the fuck is this guy about? 
I got no hope. There's nothing to lose. He's just going to cast Detect Magic and see if he notices any fucking magic inside this room nope. whatsoever. Not a thing. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it looks like a normal blacksmith in an average size town. Okay. Well, then there's no ma magic items in to, to be bought in this fucking town. Good to know. Cool. <laughs> um... Hmm. You guys do you hear at this point? He's done. Out of character, but would there be weapons that are better than just like simple weapons, like upgraded, like like for instance, a mace or anything like that, that would be available in shops? Like what do you like in general? Like what do you I, mean in blacksmiths exactly? in D and D, do they or when they make weapons, do they just do uh, like a basic weapon, or would there? You be mean upgraded? like you're looking for like a plus one and stuff? Yeah. Uh, maybe in a bigger city, or maybe in a backwoods town by some off chance. Okay. Uh, maybe, because that's ten. I believe plus ones are considered magic still. Okay. So if that if that's the case, then okay, the fuck be there. Okay, I don't want to waste anybody's time. Uh. Okay, it seems like we are. Hey, Mala, how you doing? Luck. I say we make What's our journey to the next town over and see if we could purchase a. Uh, possible better transport than our own legs. Um, I would have traveled this road before. Do I remember any other towns? Mm. <laughs> oh, wait. I, wait, wait, wait. I can't wait, wait, remember wait, wait. the map. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, <laughs> do we even know what direction we're going in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we I should buy it. Yeah. Well, I, maybe we should have find no a idea. And buy one. I what? Say, Saris has. You have no idea where the moors are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me has a idea of the moors. Mm -hmm. Um, Naren has traveled through the Evermore. Yeah. So it just depends. Does Naren remember the direction? Fuck. Or, we, or we can just buy a map. <laughs> yeah. We can just buy a map and stop I... having to figure out if we know where shit is. <laughs> <laughs> Magic thing? Wait! <laughs> but, yeah, you, you get a you, map. Every place you could buy maps. I, the first yeah, thing. I, I have in no a, experience. In, in a world where there isn't Google Maps, <laughs> they're gonna have to get around somehow, and they're not all just fucking guessing the entire time. Listen, before MapQuest, who were we as a society? <laughs> all right, listen. Uh, I, I vaguely remember Waterdeep is in the south direction. Just figure it out. I I can tell you that <laughs> well, you, the Evermores no, are to the just... northeast. Yeah, northeast. Okay. Yeah. Buy a map. Are you saying okay. that in character to buy a map, or is this? <laughs> Boy, Me's not smart enough to do so. <laughs> You're the raw. Um, <laughs> Alright, so the party knows to go northeast. Okay. In that case, what were you... Uh, At least to find the moors. Right. Oh, right. Nared wanted to know if they knew of any towns between here and the moors, right? Was that what you were asking, Jester? Yeah. I can't remember what the map looks like. <laughs> uh... I feel like there's at least yeah, one other town I, I tried to I'd through. say it. I'm not actually going to make you do history and all that because it wasn't that long ago you walked through. Yeah. Um, let's see. The town you would have passed is Yar uh, Yartar is the town you would have went through. Okay. And that is between here and the Moor Evermores. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've uh, I traveled through the Evermores on my, uh, on my way here. Uh, when I when I first met you guys, and uh, there's not a lot of towns between here and there, um, but there is at least one. Okay, then I say that is the direction that we need to head to if we want to get there any quicker than uh, than how we are right now. I mean, or do you want to see if we can get <laughs> someone to give us a lift? <laughs> Maybe like a like a temporary chauffeur of, of a situation okay i'm sure someone's heading in that direction we just have to figure out who jump on their car maybe give them a 
bottle of booze, I don't know, and see if they'll let us just hitchhike. Okay, I don't mind that idea. Uh, Naren, did you have something else? Yeah, that, gee, uh... maybe that Grecum guy can uh, can hook us up with some travel as well. It's possible. Mm. Uh, he did seem to be in good spirits last night, so <laughs> wait, no, we're still it's the same day. It's still the same day. He seemed to be yeah. good and in, in good spirits today, so maybe we can uh, maybe we can convince him to give some transportation to fulfill his jobs uh, faster. Cool. Okay, so are we headed to the back to the inn? Yeah, he's, okay. he's going to sit down for the rest of the day and just <laughs> have a chill drink before going to sleep. <laughs> he's, he's done. He's, he's, he's one-track-minded. Are we not talking yeah. to Grecum before you go the fuck to sleep? He's getting... It's midday! Yeah, it's midday. Me knows that that... He's probably pushed it with Grecum at this point. So he's just like in conversation, yeah. walking back towards the tavern, like, might be best to let you take that one, I think. <sighs> All right. Uh, am I. Well, before am I still you go upstairs. Oh, uh-huh. Before you go upstairs, gives you guidance. <laughs> For fuck's sake. All right. Sure. Oh, no, no, we'll get you. Extra D4, right? I, I'm going to come up with a yeah, fucking, D4. like, okay. actual word for what he says when he, uh, he casts Guidance. Yeah, with how many just, fucking I, times to show it up. I think I'm going to do the same idea. for Eldritch Blast. I was going to say, you make fun of Eldritch Blast, but you're going to use that every bit as much, if not more. <laughs> yeah. I outside like of, ca- outside of combat, it, it's a cantrip, I fucking man as well. Because I'm <laughs> apart from Wild Shape, that's all I got, too. Yeah, that's We're fair. level three, right. damn it. There's so, a lot of repetitive casting. Let's... So okay. I'm guessing somebody went upstairs. To... Yeah, uh, I was gonna ask: uh, Am I am I on my own in this, Naren, or would you like to help convince the man of uh, no, I'll, giving uh, us some transportation? I'll try and help you convince him. Okay, and yeah, I would make my way up the stairs and assume Naren's following me and uh, knock on the same door from earlier. Who is it? Uh, it's Sarah I... from 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 earlier. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought it was going to be me. No, uh, wait, did uh, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> he opens the door with about cracks at this time, having his head poke out. Uh, you gentlemen really love to bother somebody during a good time. Yeah, sorry about that. You can go right back to your good time. Uh, it is just that uh, for us to get there faster, we were hoping that maybe you could provide some transportation for us since we are under your contract now. He looks down. Your legs don't seem to be broken. No, but if you'd like us to get there faster and solve your issues, wouldn't it make sense for us to uh, have something of use for that rather than just our own two legs? I mean, there's a stable. You could buy some horses. Yeah, that didn't work out. (laughs) Um, (laughs) He 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 didn't didn't want your money? His prices were far too expensive for what we had, so unfortunately we could not afford him. If you wanted to provide more gold, I would not say no. However, I don't think that you would, you are the kind of man who would just simply give it just to solve an issue. Yeah, you're, you're asking for more money before you even do a job. Not necessarily uh, more money. <laughs> me and my rangers came here on our own two feet. So, so you're saying that that's all you guys travel with is your own two feet at this point? Yeah. It's really to hard to go through <laughs> woods and stuff on a horse. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, well, we are sorry to bother you uh, once again. And uh, we hope that you, uh, you have a good time with, with what you're doing here. <laughs> Good. Oh, that Bam. went well. <laughs> I'll be right ah, back. Okay. Um, Maybe it's not me. Naren. <laughs> <laughs> I look back at Naren and be like, you know what? Today's just not our day. <laughs> yeah. I, it really uh, isn't. <laughs> I think uh, it's uh, just best if we uh, rest up. And uh, start our travels tomorrow. And I agree. Fresh day. 
fresh day on foot. We will make it. We'll make it. We will. And then I <laughs> head back downstairs to where I'm assuming me is still drinking. <laughs> and I I order uh I ask for the cheapest bottle that they have. Um mm. <clears throat> Oh yeah, uh, man! They just pulls out a just. It looks like a very, very bland, blank bottle of mead that just has like a brown paper around the bottle. Here you go. Ah, perfect. More of your finest mead. Uh, how much would that be, sir? Uh, that's five silver for the bottle. Five silver, perfect. Here you go. Me. Constitution saving throw, because you told me you were working on that bottle. And that bottle was high alcohol. That's 19. Hey, for once you don't pass out, you actually <laughs> managed to handle this pretty well. <laughs> nice. I still, also still t Oh, no. Has it been an hour? That's right. I could have used guidance on that anyway. <laughs> so, Oops. now... Y'all just chilling, hanging out, Phil? Yeah, I mean, because think... y'all take a long rest me now. Of, Yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming you inform me of what your conversation upstairs. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, of course, yeah. We, we let them know that. Uh, yeah, uh, Moon Rangers normally do not travel with, with, with other transport. They do walk on their own two feet, so unfortunately, uh, it was a dead end. Well, uh... There's only the two of you at the moment. The the big dragon looking Axion is not here right now. So I mean, worst case scenario, we try the same thing we did last time, and <laughs> if, we can get there a little bit faster. If that's uh, okay with you, then yes, uh, I think that would be that would be better. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Um, but, but I'm gonna need some sleep then. Agreed. Cool. And considering you guys are both fairly small, I could probably just go horse at it, and then we shouldn't have to hopefully do stupid athletics check shit like riding a bear. <laughs> so, y'all just chill out at the tavern and go to sleep and wake up? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would say so. As y'all come downstairs, on the couch is Grecum. He just looks at y'all puzzled. What? Uh Everything what all right are there? still doing here? We, we... Uh, went to sleep. <laughs> I mean... Boy, y'all little... take y'all sweet time doing anything that involves people dying. I mean... We figured it... <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, I was just gonna say, I mean, you got laid and people are dying. <laughs> like, I, again, I feel like you keep making comments when you're in the same position. Like, we're just gonna go unless you have something of value to add. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. Good, just good luck. Good luck. You too. And me just like... Walks out all happy with himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give him a in his nod breath. My way out yeah, he under his breath. Those idiots probably don't even know where the city is. Can I roll perception? <laughs> sure, and I will roll uh, deception for him. I need to put him under this campaign instead of just my characters. Let me see. see. But then y'all can see his shit, and I don't want y'all to see his shit. Yeah, yeah I just want to see it. I love, I love. No, we'll do me. performance. You should do. You should. Sorry, we'll discuss. Oh, wait, wait, I don't know if it's gonna matter, but go for it. <laughs> what's what's the what's the normal DM thing that everyone hates? So you can certainly try. Yeah. <laughs> yep. How'd you go? Uh, to fifteen. Yeah, that's a twenty-three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you hear it if you want. Um, me, me, me hears it and, um, oh, thank you very much. Sorry, we have a wild as. Uh, me hears it. <laughs> Not to you! <laughs> me hears it and goes, uh, muffles under his breath, but just loud enough that he knows that Grecon will hear it. We'll probably find it better than you, jackass, and just walks out the door. <laughs> At that moment, 
a dagger lands right beside you that Grekum throws. <laughs> and I mean, it is like right fucking beside your head as you walk out the door. Um, at that moment, like me, just laughs, uh, like erupts into a, like just voluminous laugh, just th- deep in his chest, just pissing himself as he walks out the door, at, unfazed by that knife. He thinks it's the best thing ever. Perfect. I'm I'm not gonna pay him. <laughs> <laughs> you won't want to try that when we get back. <laughs> Either way, so the party. Yep, we are heading to the town that uh that Naren is familiar with. Yeah, Tar. Yeah, Yatar. Okay. So conversations or y'all just traveling because i'm gonna start throwing uh, shit at y'all if y'all are just traveling <laughs> and i don't mean i don't mean attacks i mean like just random shit um on. if we're gonna be traveling and we might run into um like ambush type stuff i just need to ch- but i'm not gonna be metagaming as far as i'm not going a wolf or anything there it is horse war horse that was what I ch- ran with last time. Let me just get that stat sheet up. Give me one sec. So I didn't have that stat block. It's okay. Um, because as I said, if it's only the two of you, it makes more sense to go a horse so that you're not fucking dying trying to hold on. Mm-hmm. But True. also just in case something does happen so that bone end's not fucking going, hey, how does that work? All right, cool. I got the stat block. Okay. Let's hope, let's hope we don't get attacked because it's not as good as all my other shit. <laughs> Not even close. Um, so yeah, when you're ready, me will um will wild shape into a horse as he promised. Okay, and uh, when that happens, I would probably get up and and probably be at the helm of it. Helm is that the right word? The the very front of it to take you know the front of the saddle or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not even saddle, but horse. The back, yeah, the back of. The front of his back, I guess. <laughs> okay. I, I slide in behind Saris and hold on to him. You're Potate, on the back you can of get his up. back. I was going to say, Potate, you can yes. get on top of me any day. <laughs> Fucking prove it. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Just did you. Y'all are going, and y'all are, ha- y'all are making it about an hour, then you're having to stop and rest for an hour, then go again for an hour, stop and rest for an hour, go again for an hour, stop and rest for an hour. You're making At it that sound place. like I'm faster than on foot. <laughs> it's a shit ton faster as a goddamn war horse that can god damn, uh, is right. It moves to 60 feet a sec, like, uh, uh, what's called, per six seconds. Uh, so, let me look, let me pull them. I would say... It'll take y'all on horse about eight hours to get to your tar. Okay. Okay. It's cool, timing. that's pretty good. So it is now again about midday and y'all arrive at the city and I do not have a map for that, but this is quite a bit of a bigger city than uh, Westbridge, but strangely not as populated. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, Let me see if I can get a map for everybody while we do this. Yeah. Do what y'all want to do. Uh, <coughs> uh, we <laughs> we enter the city. I guess. Uh, I'm gonna. Would I even notice? I don't know. I. Yeah. Do we do we notice that it is sparsely populated? Like, uh, like I wouldn't be familiar. Exceptions. I don't think. But yeah, I mean. I don't really think any of y'all would know the actual population mm. of the thing, but y'all can roll the ten. Uh, roll perception and see if it just seems odd to you. Eighteen. Uh, twenty dirty. Not that. All right. Okay. Guess what? Y'all look around and y'all realize for a town of this size, there are a lot less people here than there should be. Um, let me. I can bring it up over um, my display, so if y'all can look at my stream for a moment. I can't save this picture. It's a, a web thing, so I can't put it up on 
beyond um where is display capture your stream hang on i haven't got yeah i intentionally don't have that up Are you, you're, you're on twitch there yeah yeah i'm on yep. twitch so this uh, is just a view of it like i said this is a considerably bigger place than westbridge but for some reason <laughs> it seems less populated okay okay or not as populated oh, as yeah. a place of this caliber should be. Gotcha. It is okay. midday, too, so I guess it would be bustling if it was uh, any other town. All right. But, uh, let's, let's say you've I mean, got a dirty 20. Um, you would have noticed when coming in, because y'all would have came from the Tribor Trail here on the left. Um you would have noticed, uh, me and Naren, that the ship commerce along the rivers does not seem to be any lighter than it would seem for a place of this size. It just seems like the general foot traffic throughout most of the city has died down. Okay. Or isn't there. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, does it seem strange to you guys that there's not a lot of people around? Uh, I rolled a 10, so not really. I'm just <laughs> to be here. <laughs> you didn't notice it, but you can still respond to it when we bring it up, though, right? Um, can I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, once well, uh, I point it out I'll, to you. I'll, I'll, help, I'll help out a little bit. Saris, roll a history check. Okay. <laughs> see if you remember. Let's see if this helps, helps at all. Uh, 12. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Today's not our day either. <laughs> hey, Richard, thank you for the follow. Jackass took so long to follow. Uh, I didn't I thought I already was. I didn't think I, uh, I thought I already was. I will give you. You remember uh, the High Dawn Lord talking about people leaving the. Um, east and heading west okay so this is this that is that okay. yes that is all you remember okay uh i i think i remember uh one of my dawn masters telling me that people were uh leaving east and heading west <laughs> new information for all of you i'm sure uh <laughs> and and uh I, I'm not entirely sure why that is, though. Uh, could it be because of uh, the goings-on that Silvery Moon Rangers have asked us to investigate, do you think? It, it It's quite possible. I, I can't imagine that would keep people here if that was happening. Hmm. At this point, is me still a horse? <laughs> 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 no, he would have said that. That's the town. Because again, every time he's changed, changed into or out of, he gets in trouble, and it's apparently in a populated area. So, making I, sure. I, I, I imagine it was also a case of you probably would just like have slapped him upside the head. It's so time to change. This is your <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, but unfortunately, that that that's all I know. Uh, fair enough. Well, all right. I forgot. I guess we could. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the music just started. Cool. Um, <laughs> well, all I can say is you want to check here for. Uh, I I happy to keep going along. I wouldn't mind checking for items here if they've got a shop that being bigger. Maybe they might have something. Um, Very but otherwise, possible. I'm ready to keep going. Um, okay. If you're worried about, I was gonna say, if you're also worried about how many people are here, you could always we can always ask around, and get some more information. I agree. If if this seems odd, I I do believe we should maybe ask somebody who uh, might know a bit of why that is. Um, and as you say that, me just like yells at the closest person, like walking past, <laughs> is like, "Hey, you, 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 come here for a oh. second, please." Hmm? Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you, buddy? Um, okay. quick question. Or two yeah. questions. 
One. What can I help you with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't stress. He looks uh, a little startled because you are a big man and you yelled at him. Uh, how are you today? It's all good. I just wanted to know. We've uh, just arrived. We've noticed that there's not as many people as we would have thought for a place this size. Is there a particular reason why it's so quiet here? Well, it's not exactly quiet, but, um, yeah, with all the raids and stuff going on, people don't want to be near the woods and the moors. Yeah, it's okay. We, we might solve that problem for you. Number two question. Um... <laughs> Do you know of any stores around here that might sell some magical items by any Mag chance? Magical item? Uh... Uh... Let me... There is one shop that might contain some magical things, maybe? Uh... That's Sounds right up my alley. Do you, could you point uh, me in the direction of that shop, please? <laughs> wow, these names are stupid. Uh, <laughs> yes, there is... Um... Aldor's alchemical shop. He has some odds and end trinkets. Uh... He is going to be... And he's just gonna kinda point off down an alleyway. Uh, just go that way. You'll see a little stairs that go down into like a, a smaller alleyway. It's it's just a very small door. It's gonna be kind of easy to miss. He doesn't have really any signs, but there is a barrel with a fake cat statue for some reason on it. Um, okay. That's just how you know where his shop is. Fair enough. Uh, we will head there. Have a silver for your time. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, just. Uh, Oh, this in thank coin. you. Um, enjoy your day. And me's like, I'm gonna head over to that shop that the good lad pointed out. I'm going to follow you. There might be something of interest there for me as well. Cool. We're headed to go shopping again. Yeah, I will <laughs> follow as well. <laughs> okay, cool. We have a formula <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. On my way to Costco. Um, <laughs> magic Costco. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we can barter for something good this time. <laughs> I just need to find some kind of like ring, a necklace, a cape, something that I can wear and walk. Like the freaking tattoo. I don't care. That'd okay. Be good. Yeah, montage. So, following uh, um, the instructions that you were given, you find um, this just random door. And there is a barrel beside it with a... Uh, it's one of those... Like, uh, is it, is it Chinese or Japanese? The cats with the little hand that just goes back and forth. Japanese. It's Chinese. Oh, yeah. oh. Fuck knows. It's got one of those at it. <laughs> and it's just it, sitting I, there going back and forth. <laughs> uh, I think it's a fortune cat, so I think it is Chinese. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. This looks um, like the place. Oh, potato, you've turned into a flip book. No, oh, Japanese. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Okay. Also, I just noticed what you all mean because when I when I got up Bonans about how apparently on my stream I look fine on yours, Jester's, and Bonans I look like shit. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Correct. <laughs> you have twelve <laughs> pixels. <laughs> one quick question, Jester, are you using the um the virtual cam on yours, the one that you told got me to set up? No, the virtual cam. Well, the virtual cam is for Video Ninja, so yes, I'm using the virtual cam. You're using virtual cam in Video Ninja. Yep. Yeah, so so am I, so that's not the problem. All right, we'll try to figure that out later, but yeah, I see yeah, what you okay. mean, yeah. All right. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, so me just goes up to the shop owner and is like, how's it going? Uh, there it just... It would be a green dragonborn. Oh, and <laughs> me immediately gets like excited, <laughs> turns around to Saracen and is like, oh, 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 guys, guys, we found a green one now. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, uh, and then he turns back. He goes, "Sorry, sorry. You look. You, you, um, we have a friend. He's he's similar to you. He's he's a, he's a good guy. We wish he was here. Uh, anyway, can you tell me what items you have? Oh, uh, 
I have quite a few items. What are you looking for? Uh, rings, capes, uh, tattoos, uh, anything that when I turn into a giant animal, that animal could also physically wear. <laughs> yes, that is a thing. Don't ask. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Have you tried putting the things on after you turn? Then anything can go. Uh, when you go from this, and he like highlights himself to a a, a giant bear, it, it's a little bit harder. Like everything disappears unless I decide what I want to keep. So it needs to be things that would fit on said <laughs> form. <laughs> I know it's an odd request, but. Tell me, this is not making your day go by a little bit faster? Were you not um, bored before? Uh, I have some things, but I, I don't know of anything that would transform when you turn into an animal. Exactly. Doesn't have to change. Just, just, just give me the list of items. I'll, I, I'll let you know if it's uh, something I can take with me. And whether or not I'm interested in purchasing. Um, I have these boots of striding. Um, let me see what they... No, nah, they, boots aren't gonna work. They make you <laughs> faster. Mm, what else you got? Um, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really quickly, how much would those boots cost? Oh, uh... Oh! About 5,000 gold. Okay, uh, <laughs> next item. <laughs> well, okay. Um, I have some healing potions. And how much would that run us by per potion? Uh, 50 gold. Okay. <laughs> next question. <laughs> um, if, if you can't afford 50 gold... Uh, you might have come to the wrong shop. Fair enough. I'll uh, wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never said that. Uh, I just want to know what you have. Um, oh, uh, I do have one more clothing item. Yeah, it's a there's... robe. Um, of useful items. Robe of useful items. Hmm. Yeah, it, it has it has these patches. He's gonna bring the robe out. It has these patches. Um, and each of these patches are a thing. And he's gonna point to a lantern. You can pull this patch off, and it'll become a lantern that you can use. Each one of them. There's a dagger. There's a pole. There's a mirror. There's a, a rope. Uh, I, I, it's funny because I remember the version of this in D20. So I was like, I, when I heard this, I just got super excited for a second. Uh, <laughs> I said, took up a photo. Yeah, I, I, my, my animals could wear that. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, how much would that run us? I guess this rope? Yes. Oh, it's a pretty rare find. Probably, I'd say, about 8,000. Okay. Uh, well, we are here to, to stop the, the enemies in the east that have been uh, uh, executing your population. Uh, if we were to use this robe for the like of that battle... Uh, whatever that battle might be, uh, we could bring more people to your shop, form business. You would have plenty more people to, uh, to buy your wares. Um, I think I'll have to pass. You know how many adventurers I get coming in here saying they will save people with my wares and spread the name and have all sorts of people come visit. Oh, I am betting more than you would like. <laughs> now, if you're looking for something, I do have two things on the cheaper end if y'all really can't afford 50 gold. We would love to hear that, yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I have a scroll of Mage Hand, and it just 
makes a little hand come out that can help you do some things. <laughs> um, and a scroll of lightning lure. And uh, lightning lure. Yeah. And uh, it causes basically a lightning strike to hit a creature. Okay. And how much are you charging for those scrolls exactly? Uh, they are 20 gold apiece. Okay. That is not exactly what I am looking for, but if, if either of you would... Uh, out of character, I'm, I want that. <laughs> I'm tossing up with me. He's, trying to... he's not evil. But he's not prone to committing crimes. He will be silly, so maybe casting charm person, but every other of me wants to steal that fucking robe if this guy's going to charge 8k. <laughs> Fuck's sake. No. <laughs> we can't get kicked out of another time. <laughs> oh. Oh, it hasn't worked for me so far today, but if I take it, we're probably not going to be able to stay in this town if I... <laughs> It's the one town between here and the Morris. Do you really want to risk it? Sorry, the one town between Westbridge and the Morris. <laughs> I mean, if we save the Moors, <laughs> oh my God. they might let us go. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Me's probably banking on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we'll deal with the consequences. Just do whatever you think you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Me is going to, for the third time in 48 hours, attempt to cast Charm Person. <laughs> okay. Fuck a roll, Swistom. He got an 11. Yeah! Yes! It succeeded That's finally! Something. So, what does Charm Person do? It, does so, less than you it makes them friendly, doesn't it? <laughs> it just makes them friendly. <laughs> so no, this already no. friendly merchant is now friendly. <laughs> well, he no, sees us as friendly club. as as so allies. He can't attack. Uh, it can't attack us. Okay. Uh, and I have advantage on ability checks to interact with them. So I like persuasions and shit. So if I uh, for the next, uh, is it a minute? Hang on, how long is the last hour? For the next hour, I can attempt to. <laughs> Convince him to do it real cheap, <laughs> and if he doesn't, I could take it, and he won't attack us until we're okay. long gone. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have fucking guards after us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he can't tell the guards for at least an hour. Yeah, an hour. That's <laughs> okay. Um, oh fuck. He doesn't. He may not know that we've taken it, but he's definitely gonna know I cast this on him by the time the hour's done. Um. Okay. Buddy, we're friends, okay? Look, I know inflation's been hard on you, but you have to admit, while this item's a little uncommon, uh, it's not 8,000 worth. <laughs> Let's... You do me a deal, I'll pay you a good sum. I could even come back and pay you a little bit more, maybe later down the line. Uh, but we're gonna go take care of the problem in the Evermores, and this would be helpful. So, what can you do? Um, I can sell it to you for 8,000 gold. There's <laughs> <laughs> not even a persuasion check? Fuck's sake. Okay, screw this. Um, I mean, you didn't ask for anything. You just asked what he can do, I and that's what he can do. All right. I didn't hear a deal. Uh, oh, sorry, I said a deal. <laughs> well, you're going to have to steal persuasion. You just get advantage on it now. Correct. Mm -hmm. He wasn't hostile or anything. He was friendly to the get-go. <laughs> uh... uh 21. How far is that going to bring him down? <laughs> Not as much as you'd like, probably. <laughs> oh, got a, no, got I was banking on the uh, kind of attack. You got a 12? Um, okay. Uh, let's see. You know where this is going to go. I, I already know where this is going to go. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying. He brought it down. Uh, I can do... 7,500? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> So you, you've been a lot of help. Can you do me a favor? Can you just go check in the back to see if you've got any other items like rings by any chance or just something else that you might, you know, that, that could be helpful? Sure. 
and he's gonna take the robe and the boots back. Uh, do you mind if I do you mind if I keep looking at the robe for five seconds? Uh, I'm just, I'm still I, that you brought the price down to seventy five hundred. I'm, I'm very tempted. I'm just, you know, like I, I don't want to part with such an expensive item without being able to watch it. That's all right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still be here. I just want to look at the items, like the options that you can pull out of the robe. If you uh, can just check the back to see what else you've got, I'll probably get this and something else. Persuasion. Nat 20. Oh. <laughs> uh, 21. I'm going to give it to the Nat 20 if you didn't nat it. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean... Oh, it is a Nat. It is a Nat. Mm. Um. Okay. I mean, I can go to the Dragonborn and see if Dragonborns have any modifiers. No, I, I'm not sure how that. I'm it's not fine. sure how that works. I don't know if Nat beats uh dirty stuff. That's fine. Um. He's gonna place twenty gold on the counter <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> And with the other hand, grab the robe and go, I am really sorry for this. We will be back. Um, one, second, one second. I am I am consulting somebody because I don't know exactly how that works because I thought I was told Nat 20s try or trump a lot of stuff, but I'm going to see if over 20 actually will be a Nat 20. I think it might be DM discretion, but I'm not sure. Probably. Because, like, Nat 20 is a, like, instant success, but if it's a contested check, I don't think it's... Um, I don't think... I, you I think know it's what? A discretionary thing. I am going to leave it in Naren's hand. Naren, roll just anything. Evens, me gets away with it. Odds, me does not get away with it. Damn it, every dice has an even number of sides. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, what did I say? Did I say... Yeah, I, I, I already say? forgot what you said. Did you say even, I, so I get away with it? Odds yeah, I odds don't. you don't. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a three. Odds I don't get away with uh, it? You do okay. not get away with it. That's fine. He's... So, with, with one hand, he places 20 gold on the counter and says, Buddy, this is for you. I apologize for this. We'll be back at some point. After we fix the problem in the Evermores, okay. Uh, okay. With the left hand on the shoulder, it's gonna be okay. I won't okay. leave you in the hangar. And with the right hand, grabs the robe, pushes him back, and runs. Okay. <laughs> the, ca oh the character, the character still <laughs> likes me. Will still think of me as his best friend for another fifty-eight minutes, <laughs> and will not attack us, and will not do anything hostile towards us. In an uh, hour, after we're long gone, he will go tell the guards. Okay. Well, as you go to run out, give me a dexterity saving throw. As Fucking the cat what? starts screaming in an alarm, thieves, 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 <laughs> and grease appears that everywhere. Cat? Yeah, the cat that was on the, the bed. at the door. God damn it. <laughs> Not 20! Oh, what? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> you managed to stay up. The cat is still screaming. <laughs> and the robe is not in your hands. It's not in my hands. <laughs> it's not in your hands. Where is it? Look behind you. I'll, I'll tell you that since you got a nat 20. Look behind you. <laughs> okay, he looks behind him. <laughs> it's back on it's back on the counter. <laughs> I think we need to get out of here. Um, yeah. I think it's good that we leave. <laughs> we, we should definitely leave. We need to go now. Yeah, me pets the cat and is like, nah, there's no thief here. And leaves. <laughs> it, it's still going off. It's not stopping. <laughs> okay. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck this. Um, um, Fucking now... Rollswell does nothing. God damn it. Now might be a good time to uh, give us a fast way out of town, me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He, he gets to the edge of town, ten cents into a horse, and we go. <laughs> Was, is that three towns now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. 
God damn it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> he thought it would be helpful in the pursuit of <laughs> helping people. He was going to pay him. He was going to pay him the, the allotted price of 8,000 gold? <laughs> no, he was going to pay him something. <laughs> <laughs> to be value. fair, he's <laughs> already paid him twenty value. gold now. <laughs> yes, right. I have. Well, that out. As y'all are running, are y'all running from the shop? Are you being sneaky from it? Because there is a very, very loud alarm going off, yelling "thieves" with guards throughout the city. So uh, at least um, we made our way quickly to the edge and transformed into a horse. Wait, what? So I, f I feel we like we, we probably weren't running if we're trying to get to the edge of town. We were power walking. We were walking very fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so you're not trying to sneak or anything? You're just walking? We're pretending uh, like nothing happened and walking fast, yes. Yeah. No way. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll let you have it for the calmness that you're doing it. <laughs> I, I, you see guards <laughs> running past y'all, but y'all are fitting in with the crowd, not trying to, <laughs> not trying to be sneaky. But not trying to act like y'all really paid attention to anything that happened. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Oh, no, wait. Let's get going. Yeah. All right. So. What are y'all doing? Now that you're making for the edge of the town. Heading to the moors, I guess, right? Yep. Yeah. So the, to the, moors. the moors are to the northeast. So, Northeast, got it. Yep. So yeah, I guess that's our decision. Me is a horse now, right? Yeah, I would assume right. so. Yeah. Okay. So now y'all are just going to the moors. Just going to the Evermore. Okay. Uh, so yep. I'm heading towards the Evermore. Y'all just head north along that road above uh, Yartar, and it is starting to become denser. It's no longer just grasslands. It is more of a foresty starting to show up. Mm. You can It almost smells kind of wet, like there's a bog as well. Okay. Um, uh, I'm Nairin, assuming at this point I'm still in horse, so you guys, I can't yeah. talk. Nairin, you would start to recognize a little bit of this because you did travel along this road. Yep. The um, I think it's called the Ever Road, I believe. Mm. Okay. I believe that's what it said. Yeah. It's not on the map, so I'm oh. gonna have to believe you. So uh, yeah, I believe we're I be, believe we're close to the moors. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I'm glad we're getting closer. Uh, I'm just in more horse film. Yeah. Sorry, all you hear is. <laughs> so uh, well, uh, oh, you go. Uh, I guess we uh, just need to start looking around for. For for orcs or or uh, something strange. Agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, although I am getting tired of having to leave town like this, I do think we do need to concentrate <laughs> on the mission itself. Ah <laughs> uh, well, look, me 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 is used to wandering from town to town, pissing off people. That happened in I kid you not. Before they got this chaotic in session, that was always in his backstory. <laughs> Is he goes to town, helps people, somehow gets into a fight, or pisses off somebody, leaves. That's why he's wandered so many places. That makes sense. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. Uh, so, you, 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 and you probably figured that out from conversations with him, in, uh, just like standard small talk between places where he's just like, oh, yeah, I went to here. Right. And it, it ended badly because this <laughs> happened. And then I went to here. Then it ended badly because this happened. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely checks out. Uh, Okay, so we're looking for... What are we looking for exactly at the moors? What would the moors look like from an outside perspective, I guess? Just a thicket of trees? As as where y'all would be, um, if 
God, it's hard to see with because you can't really zoom in on the map too well. Yeah. That's right. Um wish I had a better way I could zoom in on all this. Uh let me see. There is map. a branch. Also, we should probably turn off the uh the tapping sounds. <laughs> oh, they're not playing. They are for me. Mine. Yeah, I stopped those a long time ago. Yeah, I don't have any. I sense. stopped those the moment y'all went into the place. I have Middle View City still playing. Yeah, that yeah, has... I can still hear it. Is it stopped now? I just restopped yeah. yeah. re it. I never found where that sound was coming from in our last game. I, I was getting music the whole fucking time, and I'm like, Wait, <laughs> everything's muted. Yeah, what? Now it's stopped. <laughs> so sometimes I guess it doesn't stop when I first hit it. Um, above your tar, there there's a fork in the road, and one of the forks, one way is the way Naren came from. That goes straight through the middle of the Evermores. The other one has a sign that says uh, Nesame and points north. Is it the one through the Evermores says Silvery Moon and Citadel Felbar? Okay. Uh, again, uh, I'm a horse. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, hang on. Uh,. Do you think we should head directly to the Evermores, or do you think we should head to Nesme, where we were told uh, we might be able to find out more about the situation? Wait, correct me if I'm wrong. That was correct, Bonan? I put I took the notes correctly. I, I, I don't know. What was it? What do you mean? No. <laughs> uh, when when uh, the the dude the leader yes. was telling us about yes. the mission, right? He yes. said that we could head to Nesme to find out more about the situation in the Evermores. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh do you think we should head there or should we head directly into the, the threat? Well we know nothing about the threat, so I uh I think getting as much information as we can would be uh pretty helpful. Okay. And uh Bonan, the way that the roads are split apart, we'd have to pass kind of the uh, area can, of Evermores first, right? Y'all can sort of see it, I think, maybe, mm -hmm. on the map. Um, there is a road that just goes north through, like, a slightly green area with hills. Right here. So, yeah. You would be going through, like, the edges and the fringes of the Evermores. Okay. okay. So it's going to be a hilly area that is starting to become more forest slash swampy. Okay. Uh, to Nesme. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds like it sounds like we need to head to Nesme first before we can understand what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. Okay, and I guess that's our decision. I pat me. <laughs> let's, let's let's go let's go to Nesme. Uh, yep. <laughs> and just. <laughs> <laughs> I just just because I want to make Retro a little mad, I'm going to send something to you in Discord. Oh, I don't know. I, I feel like I should tell you. I'm waiting for it. Because I don't get notifications at the moment. Yeah. It's obviously streaming mode. There we go. I will. Uh. <laughs> I hate this. Just... Just go. Just go. <laughs> Why would you send it okay. specifically to Retro? Now I'm paranoid. <laughs> no, just because I feel like it would... Uh... I'm trying... Ah, God, I don't, I don't want to give everything away. Nah, just go. Okay. <laughs> just remember what I told y'all before stream. You said think. It was one word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we got so y'all yo, head north. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna keep saying. Actually, I'm have a, horse. a map of this one. I do not. I forgot to put the map up of this one again. Fuck. Wow, but you can definitely uh, tell I've Googled it because there it is in my Google searches. Theater of the mind. It's all good. Show Google searches. <laughs> Hi, horse. I'm Donkey. <laughs> hey, sweets. All right. Uh, again. You just take a quick peek at uh, stream real fast. You will see 
Uh, nuts for me. Uh, bone in, bone in, bone in, bone in. Yeah. I'm going to open it up again because I keep it closed okay. intentionally. Can I, can I save this? Oh, I can actually save this. Okay, so I can put this on roll 20. Okay. Okay, I'm going to close your stream then. I don't want to see it. I mean, you're going to see it soon. No, I mean, as I don't want to see his stream in case he puts something else oh, up like yeah, enemies okay. or um, stat blocks or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Sweet. Like, you, you can make every promise under the sun not to metagame and you can do very well as far as avoiding it, but at the same time, it's just better to not have the opportunity there at all. Yeah, fair. Stop the bleed. Oh, boy. Why? <laughs> okay. Um, let me bring y'all here. Welcome to Nesame. Cool. Oh, okay. Sweet. Huge. I am going is... to stay as a horse while we're here. <laughs> it is nowhere sure. near as big as uh, Yatar. It is slightly larger than Westbridge. Not very but ever mm -hmm. so slightly. Okay. Clearly this place no has a lot calmer vibe to it, though. As you can see, there is quite a bit of farming going on. Uh, you can hear the river going through it. There is a commercial district up at the top. Um, and then I, I would say this on the right, uh, it's not really a description of everything, but I would say this is more of like where your uh, governor or the mayor would be for the city-state area. But also probably where the guard's post is, the jailer house and all that. So. Go. I'm a horse. Okay. <laughs> um, fuck, really? You're going to leave us to this? Um, yeah, I'm a horse. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I forgot. There you go, Jester. Thank you. Um, okay. So the dude said head over here to find out more but I, fuck i don't know where to start um do we is it like a are there a lot of people in the area that we are entering it through or y'all are right here there are a couple like um just travelers probably a couple merchants coming in with like wares and whatnot to trade in the city okay so traveling merchants essentially okay uh I am. I think I'm gonna hop off of uh, Retro's back really quickly. Uh, approach one of the merchants who I see probably has like a cart or something of some sort. Um, and I approach them and uh, excuse me. Uh, we were wondering if you might have known anything about what might be happening in the Evermores. Uh, we've heard some pretty, pretty awful rumors of what might have been going on. You. Uh you approach a half elf um female okay uh you want to know what's going on in evermore uh well what what do you mean going on um the orcs and lizards and folk and everything that live in there more or less yes uh i mean There's just been rumors of raiding parties and raiding bands uh, in the moors. They've kind of been on the rise lately, it seems. I haven't personally had any trouble, but I don't tend to go towards uh, Silvery Moon. Um, Do you know of any other merchants who might go along those roads? Oh, there's probably merchants here and there. I, any one of these fellows around here could be uh, people that travel that road, but I mean... Uh, there was something I overheard while I was staying at the tavern. Um, there is a group trying to have an expedition into the moors. They, they might know something more about it since they're actively gonna go in there. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's just increased raiding parties. I mean, the moors have always been pretty dangerous. It's just, do you know, if they've already headed toward up. the moors, sorry. Um, no, I believe there was a pretty loud, um, human male talking about it. He seemed pretty drunk. Uh, 
He's wearing a blue cotton shirt. Uh, he's bald. He has a uh, like a brown beard, not very long, but it covers pretty well. Uh, and out of it, it'd be like minor year type of beard. Go take. Okay. Uh, yeah, he was talking about it. I don't know when they're heading out, but uh, he was up at the tavern. Let's get it. Can you point us in the direction of the tavern? It was the Honorable Pint. It is actually... Um, on the other side of the river, if you go all the way north following the river, there is a bridge. And if you go across the bridge, over in the square is where you will find it. It is uh, near the courthouse. F kind of a funny place to have all the rowdiness, but I guess it's easy to arrest people whenever the guards are right there. Sure. Yes. Jesus. Oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you oh so god, much. Oh god, I just saw me smile. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, well, we thank you so much for your information. Thank you kindly. Uh, uh, may Lathander bless you. And like, you as well. Thank you. And yeah, I guess we should head to the. Maybe we should head to the tavern, possibly. It sounds Find like out more a, about this expedition. Sounds like a good idea. I give a little pat to, uh, to <laughs> me as I climb back onto the back of it. <laughs> Let's head to the to the tavern. Uh, takes you in the direction of the tavern. Okay. All right. So yeah, traveling up the city again. It's a oh shit! I just pulled that shit out. Okay, I don't need that tab. Um, it's it's a pretty peaceful city compared because mostly you're going to walk through this farming area right in the um center you're gonna head your way up you're gonna start seeing a lot nicer houses right there where it says mansion row obviously but you're not going to go too far down that area as you keep heading north passing what looks like various uh it's a cartographer there's a um uh what do you call people that like write documents out for people scribe uh yeah scribe there's, a, there's just a scribe there um looks like there's a bakery <clears throat> maybe a couple uh just eating establishments in the part y'all walk through and then y'all come across the bridge it is currently as y'all see it on the map raised up letting some ships pass by but then it slowly raises back down and you're able to cross um okay going around y'all will find it's just a general pub sign with what looks to be a pint on it. Okay. Uh, I guess we head toward that. Uh, I kind of lean down towards uh, me and uh, uh, do you think it's better if we possibly get you to become your natural form again before we head in? Maybe, maybe hide somewhere so no nobody sees? Like, you can't answer a fucking uh, question. It's w one nay for yes, two for no. <laughs> he doesn't do anything because he doesn't have an I don't know. <laughs> oh nay three times. <laughs> yeah, no. Was that a yeah, <sighs> nah, or nah, yeah? <laughs> um, he, he just transforms back to normal. And are you still on his back, by the way? Not anymore, I guess. Uh, okay. Was, was it was just, Naren? Was, it was Naren, Naren on my back. I, I was. <laughs> you just, okay. you just go back to normal, and you just like fall. <laughs> okay, I guess <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stand back up now that I've fallen out of my off my ass. God damn it. And uh, we're we're right in front of the tavern. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, hopefully you got a couple people it. looking at you as a horse just turned into a giant <laughs> yeah, man. Fair. But yeah. and now just, me just goes like like cracks his neck. Like, oh, just just stretching as he's couple, getting used to couple being back guards normal. are kind of just staring at you that were just casually having a conversation. Uh -huh. They're that, not doing anything. They're just 
Does they're not them? doing anything. They're just kind of like everybody else that just saw a horse become a man. Yeah, but does me see the gods? I mean, perception check, perception. sure. Perception check, go. Cool. Uh, eight. Just beat it. I, I rolled really beat badly. It 10, so no. <laughs> okay, no. You don't. Yeah, you don't notice them. Like nobody. Nobody seems to be. I rolled a two, but like plus six. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Would that just be passive Everybody's perception? just like a little shot. Yeah, I was gonna say, would that just well, be passive nice perception change. at that point? Because my passive perception I mean, is sixteen, so I'll, I'll try to remember to use that in the future. Yeah, because I was gonna say, I all he does is he turns, to, he, he, he just turns to the guards and just like, hey, and just like kind of gives him like a little wave. <laughs> uh, okay. you just see a little hand just wave back. And then he just gives him a thumbs up and nods and kind of continues to walk towards what's happened. Yeah. So. <laughs> Inside the tavern. He makes good impressions. <laughs> Again, I, we're just going to keep... I, I need to build more taverns. <laughs> I'm using this as much as uh, you use Eldritch Blast and Guidance. So. <laughs> oh, frick. Okay. So, coming into the bar, uh, there are a few people in here, um, and behind the bar, you see, uh, Ariat and, uh, Retro, y'all might know how to say the lion people, is it the Leonin? Lionin? Uh, L-E-O-N-I-N. Leonin. Li- Leonin. I see Leonin, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Leonin. There is a Leonin, which is that. A giant. It's a lion, pretty much, behind the bar. Okay. Fair uh, enough. I'm going to look around the bar, see if I see anybody uh, follows the description that we were given about a uh, dude with the bald head and blue shirt and all that. You know what? Just because I actually going to use it for once, what is your passive perception since uh-huh. he reminded me? <laughs> uh... Where exactly would I find the actual number? Because I do have a modifier plus four, but where... See, I feel like actual? that's the other thing, is if I'd remembered as well, with a passive perception of 16, that would have been useful back in the last hand at the magic shop. Probably. Um, it, I think it's, on... Uh, it's under saving oh, throws. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Uh, passive perception yeah. is... Did you tell everybody what this guy looks like, or did you not... I mean, I didn't hear you tell him, so... Weren't we all... I was in, there. Like, area of the conversation yeah okay you were all there then <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember <laughs> i don't i see saving I, throws and then i see passive wisdom passive intelligence it's passive yeah it's under yeah. sense yeah. passive, yeah, passive wisdom the perception yep oh perception oh sorry i have 14 then my bad i didn't see the perception 14 yeah with you all looking around you're gonna see a guy at a table with um Oh, my note closed. With a uh, half fort. Um, one second. I need to find my other shit. Okay. I don't have everything prepared. <laughs> because I forgot. <laughs> You're fine. Gets there is a half fort. <laughs> a half elf, which I'm going to assume has blue hair and half the head shaven. Amazing. It's time. Um, the human <laughs> and then a halfling all sitting at a table together. And the human matches the description you were told. Okay. Uh, shit. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna walk over very casually about it, uh, I suppose. Uh, excuse me. And, and I'm kind of uh, nodding in his direction, trying to make eye contact. With uh, what? The table just kind of turns and looks at you. Oh, uh, uh, hello. Uh, I we are actually here to uh, to find out what's going on in the Evermores, and we heard that you might know uh, since you are all heading on an expedition. From what we've heard. One second. I. One second. Okay. <laughs> um. The orc turns around. Or half work turns around. Oh, who's asking? Uh, we work with uh, 
Grekum and the uh, and the Moon Rangers. We are under his, you, his contract. You know Grekum. We do know Grekum, yes. You know Slippery Grekum. <laughs> slippery oh, Grekum? I haven't seen him in for it ever. It has been a while. Uh, oh, they say uh, it's almost impossible to catch him. Is is that where he got his name, Slippery Grekum? That he's just impossible to catch? Pretty much. We weren't very good at nicknames whenever he helped us, <laughs> so... Uh, why, why were you trying to catch him out of curiosity? We or were. Why the bugbears were. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> I just call him Jackass. So... <laughs> <laughs> The oh, human no. looks at you and just kind of, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so, um, and then the human just kind of raises his hand, puts it on the half orc. I got this. So, Grekum sent you to help us? It doesn't seem like in his nature just to kind of send people out like that. Well, that's he, fair if he's usually after something else. That is fair. However, uh, those were his his not orders, but his advice was to come here first to find out what uh, would, we could find in the moors before heading in. Uh, well, uh, I mean, could, yes. Can I say with a passive insight of sixteen? When you said he wants something else, would I <laughs> would 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 maybe like hang on that that was like. He would gather that that meant against us, not as in like uh, as in we were being set up. Is that the in inclination that mm. that he was receiving? No, it okay. it's usually that that how you could have taken it with that would be he usually doesn't just help just people for the just for the sake of helping people. Ah, okay, fair enough. Yep. Um. Well, if you want to know what's in the moors, uh, there's lizard folk, there's orcs, a lot scarier than this guy. Mm. Um, <laughs> there's trolls. What exactly are you looking for? Well, we I assume that we might have this, the same mission as to what we are meant to do in there. Uh, we've heard of, of rumors of possible... Uh, uh, aggressive Fay, am I remember that correctly? Did I take the note correctly? Go down. Uh, I mean, yes, you did take that note correctly. But... <laughs> uh, I don't know too much about any Fay doing anything. I just know the orcs seem to be wising up. Instead of being in their little parties, they're starting to band together to form a kind of bigger threat. But I have more pressing matters than a couple of rowdy orcs. Oh. My party is here to set up an outpost in the Evermores. We need more land, and the Evermores are rich in ores and other bountiful metals. And we are trying to bring some, um, how do you, is it, pros yeah, prosperity to the region. Mm -hmm. So, very admirable of you. I mean, it pays us pretty well, too, so. <laughs> uh, when you say Fair we, on, on behalf of who? On, like, behalf of your on, uh, town, the city? Behalf the... of me. And it'll bring jobs out more in this area, because as you see, we have, there are some rich folk that live here, because I'm pretty sure, where'd y'all come from? Uh, uh, we just came from uh, Westbridge. Ah, uh, so you did come from the south. You would have passed old Mansion Lane with all the rich schmucks on it. Mm -hmm. If yes. I can get this outpost, then I can have my ass in one of them big-ass houses. So, living the easy life at this outpost is set up, and I don't have to waller in pig shit. All right, so you want to, you're going out there to set up a business, basically, for yourself and your party. Makes sense. Yeah, pretty much. And it, it'll help those around here, but I mean, uh, I'm the one taking all the financial yo, risks for this, and my party's the one risking this. their lives. It is we the split it evenly. Of beard but... growth. 
How you doing, Polar Nuts? And uh, would you perhaps maybe not be opposed to more company on your journey into the Evermores? I mean, it's pretty dangerous. Uh, you guys any good at fighting? <laughs> yeah. What about we you? Have... He's going to look back at the one that hasn't said anything in hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I could fight. <laughs> you look a little scrawny, but... It's true. Okay. <laughs> That's why I he, have he has one. Me. He has one spell that he likes to rely on. It's it, it's effective. <laughs> oh. well, How you doing, Polar Knights? Um, under the command of our lovely assistant here, Zelfira. Did I say that right? Yeah. Zelfira. You can just Zelfira. call me Zel, though. Okay. Zel is leading our protection. So, help us They'll establish the outpost. Wait. Give me a history You won the lottery? Fuck. So. Oh, okay. Uh, Your first roll, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm getting there. Oh my god, you're eh. making us wait? <laughs> Not one! <laughs> Not, Not one! one. <laughs> Man, that's a roll! First fucking roll. Bell just lays back one. and go. I don't know shit about <laughs> oh, the Evermores, but well, I know how to kill a man. I hope your uh, mother-in-law uh, pulls through all right, but I understand well, the sentiment. <laughs> I guess more manpower, whatever, will will help. Look, you, 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 this uh, this out this outpost. If we help you with it, can we use that as a? Uh, do, can we have freedom of movement to come in and out of it and have a place to stay past helping you while we Man. do our business clearing out, doing stuff in the Evermores? Uh, yeah. I'm doing good. Um, I'm doing good. I doing mean, I think you're going to need somewhere to stay if you're going to be helping so, us. Uh, this, this isn't yeah, going to be an I do D&D &D with this group every oh, Sunday that, morning that Australian time we, or Saturday got, night we got US stuff time. to do in the other morals and we Yo, I imagine a good nights, place to you. put our heads is uh, in order. I had some new sounds to what, what, one okay. more question. I put on there that I forgot one to. One more question. Yeah. Is the other morals going to be stocked full of booze? <laughs> like once you got the outpost up, is it going to be fully stocked? Uh, <laughs> once it's up and trade is going, then most likely I'm in. <laughs> Look, the way I see it, this is a win-win. You want to come out to the wars with us, go exploring, do what you want. That's fine. Just don't get yourselves killed while I'm trying to take care of you. I need to make sure that this outpost gets built. What happens to you... Unfortunately, now I have to care about. So come out, oh. protect my people while they build like the us. outpost, and I'll help you also stay alive. Seems like a fair trade to me. I think so. I don't know what you have to think about, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I agree. I think this is the best way we can go about this. <laughs> He's already said he's dead, but he also, after that, like, cocky. Polar Knights, thank you so much for alive. the sub. I appreciate like, it. Kind of side eyeing Zell. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 so many that, that, that tweaked him a little bit. <laughs> I, uh, I do apologize, Solar Knight, uh, Polar Knight, sorry. Um, uh, may I ask when you plan on heading out to the When I'm post? doing DD, it's harder for me to chat to everyone, but. Uh, as soon as we're done drinking, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, I should I shouldn't start drinking then because trust me we'll be here all night then. <laughs> well, if that's the case, Zoldar, uh, go get everybody ready. We'll be leaving within the hour. Oh, mm, you got it, boss. I could I can fit in a couple in an hour, <laughs> and he uh, has the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul and I, it's uh, me who is over there. Um. That was just talking oh. has had us kicked out of every town we've been to so far. Oh, uh, yeah. Are y'all gonna sit there and keep At talking? He's drinking for the next hour until the party's <laughs> ready to go. 
Uh, uh, Saris is just kind of hanging out with me, but I don't, I don't think he's going to drink. I think he's going to realize that he needs to stay sober for whatever <laughs> the fuck is about to happen. Uh, Naren also is just hanging out, but also not drinking, which... <laughs> <laughs> which is just sort of occasionally shaking my head at me a little bit while, while he's doing his thing. Hey. <laughs> I just want to point out something. Naren. Oh, fuck. Oh no! <laughs> At the other end of the tavern is the figure again. You're not in a you're not in a trance or anything. You still hear everything. It's not like the time in the street. Okay. You just see it, and then it's gone. Um, I uh, kind of lean over to Saris. And, uh, and, and just sort of almost whisper, uh, full disclosure, I, uh, just saw that strange person again. <laughs> but they're gone. They just popped up, and then they were gone. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, well, thank you for telling me. It, it, it just appeared and, and left just as quickly as it came? Yep, just appeared and then was gone. And, uh, I know I, I messed up by not telling you guys about these things before, so just wanted to let you know I'm, uh, definitely sore a thing. Okay, well, uh, believe me when I tell you that I do appreciate your honesty. Uh, if it happens again, uh, we should, we should take note of it, because clearly this, whoever's trying to communicate with you wants your attention. I have a question. Is yeah. Zell close enough to potentially overhear this conversation? Uh, do you want to see if Zell hears it? Yes. All right, um, give me a perception, and Naren, are you trying to say it quiet enough that no one actually hears? That was the intention, but it obviously still okay. needed to be loud enough well, to be... Well, you give, a, give, a, give, a, give a deception. Deception. And whoever is higher. Actually, where is everyone standing, by the way? Because I was at the bar. That was the other deception. thing. Deception. I yeah. rolled a three. Never mind. <laughs> Eighteen, oh, baby. Nope. Because <laughs> I want to know. Because I have that passive perception of sixteen and a passive insight of sixteen. So if you're close enough, I want to know if me is no, just like no, noticed anything. As as it's actually something happening and not just a general actually thing happening. in the area, yeah. you actually have to look for it. Okay, I can roll. But I just wanted to know uh, whereabouts he is. Because if he's but near the bar, there. They're also behind you if you're at the bar. I'm just going to leave the same layout. It, yeah, it's a fucking uh, <laughs> chain bar. They just changed the name. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be behind you. Because that'd be a 19. I rolled an 18 for deception. Oh, thank God for plus six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're really trying to listen and not actually be drinking, then sure. Well, I think these sus on Naren still, but it would be a case of notices him mentioning it. I think it would be yeah. a case if he just didn't hear exactly what would be said and would just be like, okay, he's telling Saris something. He's at least being honest. He would get, he'd garner that well, much. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, yeah, you, you, since there's also distance between right? you two and he is whispering, you right? would not hearing him, hear him I, um, but you would definitely see that he is whispering The only cosplay I really have is Jedi things. Knight, but this is my, this Actually, is my I'll, merch polymer. Maybe I'll go inside to see if I can get body language kind of thing. Uh, 14? Would that be enough to be like, okay, he's being truthful type thing about whatever I'm, he's telling Saris? It's not like a hiding a secret type thing? I'm still going to let Naren keep the 18 as the deception. As the deception? Okay, so yes. I have no idea what he's whispering. He just said he has. He is. Okay. Yes. Cool. cool. He's going to continue drinking. It doesn't stop him from, or make him walk over. Um, and so the human... I should get some, um, uh, some cosplay stuff for my warlock. Which y'all didn't even ask his name, so he'll... Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do names. We didn't ask each other's names. IRL, all right? <laughs> me, me, he's just gotten used to interacting people without asking names, because every time he has a, a conversation like, what's your name, what's your name, people just seem <laughs> to get confused once they start asking about his. Exactly. I've been talking to people okay. through the internet 
for three years because of all of this. It, I see their name right away, all right? I'm not used to asking their names. <laughs> <laughs> well, used to monikers. So, um, the human yeah, as I said, said, he didn't introduce himself, so. <laughs> Yo, Polar Knights, thank you so him, much. So. Great. <laughs> I can't buy any merch. Uh, I can he, do that. He has a speak kickback on the table. He is actually sitting across from Ceres. So, it's a, I, it's I didn't Sergeant quite Nocat. catch y'all's names. Um, I'm Sebastian Casto. Sebastian Casto. All right. Hey. Okay. I guess if you're going to be employed by me, I, I better know your names. Uh, yes, uh, my name is, is Ceres, and this is uh, my, my friend Naren. And uh, the the big man over there drinking at the bar that would be that would be me. Okay. So is it just old Greckum that's got you coming out here? Not interested in any of the old runes or anything that lie in the Evermores? The seek there's tales of treasure, magical goods. Well, I, yep. I I I can't speak for for my uh, my friends here, but. I wasn't even aware of these these runes or these treasures myself. Well, usually that's what most people go to the Evermores for, either to try and brave their way through the Silvery Moon, <clears throat> hoping to get rich on ores, or trying to find lost uh, uh, elven ruins. Uh, Naren, does any of this pique your interest by any chance? Um... No, I, uh, I'm just here for the, uh, Silvery Moon Rangers mission, but, um, you know, it, it sounds interesting as a, as a former scholar, I'd like to maybe have a look at things that we stumble across along our way. Fair enough, I mean, yeah. I personally hope we don't run into any in particular. Rumor is they're haunted by the dead, so I don't really fancy fighting the dead, but... Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to assume uh, none of us will be enjoying that if that were to happen. Yeah. Well, me has a tendency to get drunk. Have a drink to. Me's passed out. Uh, hopefully, a before. successful mission, and the party should be ready in a couple minutes. We probably need to go meet them at the gate. That's a good idea. I think we should. Cool. Uh, we should go meet them. Cool. All right. So he's got to raise I... his glass for a toast. He, he, he's going to signal for the barkeep to bring y'all a couple glasses real fast. Uh, Zell would probably already have one. Okay. And, yeah, he's a, he finishes his drink and says, shall we head out then? Uh, I take a, I take a sip of, of just, just to be polite. I take a sip of my so, drink. I take go with the cheers. And I, I look over to me and me, what are you doing when he says that? Me's just been chatting with everybody who's at the bar, just having a good old rot laugh, okay. telling stupid tales about how he got kicked out of towns. <laughs> oh, uh, but you have more to add then. That's good. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna you walk over like, to me. Like the radio uh, man. <laughs> oh, we have fun. Uh, we have fun. It's a good time. Yeah. So, Paul uh, and I'm gonna walk over to me, pat him on the back. Oh. Uh, are, are you ready to go by any chance? I think our volumes are very. Oh similar. yeah, let's go. Come on, quad. Uh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. You need another drink. See you <laughs> later. Uh, and so I kind of picks up Saris almost onto his shoulder and starts to walk away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I just follow the up. man handles you. <laughs> Shaking yeah, my Saris head. Him. <laughs> He's very passive about it. Uh, Hi, Katie, Zell, how are you feeling? Yeah. All right, Hello. So gonna head back. You gotta walk out the doors of the tavern. Uh... Cool. <clears throat> and you are going to head to the north gate, actually. Oh? Oh? So to give you a bit north. of background, yes. um, Polar Knights, my character is very distrusting and I From may have the lied North to Gate, the rest of the are, party when you arrive, and they found out. You are going so to see... I'm sort of awkward and quiet uh, a lot see. at the moment. 18 people waiting in a crowd. They're mostly made of humans. <laughs> There's a few halflings. Only a few and, of us. And um, then the half-orc you saw at the tavern. Two Americans, He kind of has Australians. them all gathered round. Um, oh, we just went to an ad. My bad. 
<laughs> I can't hear an ad. Uh, <laughs> I need to pay attention to that more. But, um, yeah, so he has everybody gather around. <clears throat> Sebastian, we're, we're ready to head out. Okay, well, guys, this is going to be the group you are protecting. Um, he's just going to go through. I'm not going to name every... I'm not going to make up a name with everybody, but he's going to go through no, I and want just all like, 18 introduce names, bro, and every fucking one. <laughs> first <Okay>. and last. <laughs> there's... Okay. No, I'm there's kidding. Calvert. Okay. Oh, Calvert, I don't oh, Calvert, have Calvert, their names. Calvert, Calvert. I need to type this down. I need to type this down. <laughs> I want their full backstories. Polar Knights, <laughs> thank you so much for a sub to Katie. Um, so yeah, he just goes through, names them off. Uh, and y'all are gonna set off from the north gate. Yeah, so, okay. he, as he's going out, um, have any of you gents ever been to the Moors? Uh, I imagine me has maybe like accidentally wandered through it at some point. That's where he would have actually seen a decent amount of creatures. Uh, he spends more of his time in different forests. I so, okay. I have been uh, to the moors in passing on my way from uh, Silvery Moon down south. Well, then, if you've been here, you ought to know how dangerous it is. Now, I'm giving you one more chance. I know you say you work for Grekum, so you're probably good at running. Um. <laughs> yeah, look, that guy's used to that. I don't do that. If you need to run, you can, because it might get dangerous. There could be owl bears, and you see one of the halflings kind of stop for a second. I'm just uh, it's come like, on. It, uh, I, I can turn into an actual bear. Yeah. Like, you see, you see the little uh, halfling just like put his hands up and start rubbing them uh, together, kind of anxiously side eyeing you. He <laughs> seems to be like an anxious, yeah. anxious. Polo nice. Thank you so much for the subs. I That's appreciate all right, buddy. It. Just stay behind me. You're all good. Well, and they just come in and followed, and you you dropped a couple uh, of subs uh, already. Okay, uh, if you say so. Um, uh, you're not going to let an owl bear eat me, are you? <laughs> Mate, I'll probably be the one eating it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That that's good. That's good. I, 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 I really don't want to get eaten. Oh, really? Um, that's cool. You'll, you'll be fine. Just, just stay, stay behind me. Go, go, go back there with Naren over there. He, he, he cowers behind things, and he's got blue fire. You'll be good. The, the, the small one. <laughs> the, the, the tiny one. Yeah. <laughs> he, he stays out the way. Don't worry. Well, you'll be good. Um, okay. And if you're, and, if you're really brave, I'll let you ride my back later. There you go. There you go. Um, as Sebastian's gonna carry on acting like a tour guide, just kind of pointing out directions and stuff. And Oh, they're doing the mining going, stuff, eh? They start slowly entering the thick nice. uh, stuff that you've I've seen worked in as you for... pass by. It back is getting denser. And it's kind of blotting out the sun from the trees. And you hear, like, crickets and stuff, as you can tell you're in a wetter environment as you're going. You can guess that there would be some swamps along the way. Um, kind of just between all the hills, it's like a swamp kind of forms in them and everything. And Oh, yeah. Um, due to the way these hills are, they're rich in... Um, iron deposits. Supposedly, there's residuum deposits. Uh, don't I don't know if that's actually true, but it'd be <laughs> nice to find some. Uh, but yeah, all the water just runs down. It creates some of these bogs, and I don't know. Just keep an eye out for poisonous snakes. Listen for the splashing of hordes of orcs coming to peel your face away, and you know whatever else could be out here ready to carve us alive. Oh dear. Did he, did he just say carve us alive? He, the halfling looks at me. <laughs> uh, and me goes, okay, let, let me show you why you don't have to worry. And he's going to transform into, uh, we'll go a dire wolf um, in front of the, the halfling. Oh, oh, uh, um, 
Give me a perception check real quick. Uh, 20, dirty. Dirty 20. Damn! Like, <laughs> Sorry, every perception check. Shit. I've rolled like 12, 13, 14, like all day so far. <laughs> but it's always a plus six. So it's... I'm fucking... He's killing it with perception. Again, he's got a passive perception of 16 for fuck's sake. Like, he's observant. You... He's just dumb. You smell something. Smells like a couple oh, hang on. wet was... animals. Wait, it was um, what's it called the smell it, thing that I yeah, get, it's, I'm it's, keen yeah. hearing and smell. I'm gonna go for the crit. You're still gonna. No, you can I, roll it, but it. it is still gonna come out the same. Okay, uh, fine. Because you definitely smell. You can determine it is the scent of bears, and there are a few of them near. Um, what's it called? Uh, you see the wolf. Uh, like nose kind of like sniffing looking up in the air uh, in the direction of those bears and me just growls um, that, uh, in that general direction to like alert to the fact that there's some kind of danger there because obviously I can't tell you what it, it is uh, me close enough that I would have noticed are adorable. him growling it elemental, it would be I mean it's a giant dire wolf I'd imagine <laughs> all of you saw him <laughs> just fair. stop yeah. look in the direction go, yeah. right. I feel like also, Zell uh, would have turned around and been like what's, what's wrong with your dog why is um, he doing whatever he So is this doing? is roughly a circle of 23 people. Where exactly is everybody in this? Me was near the front of it. Like the okay. right yeah, at the front of the, um, what's called, pack, I guess. I'd probably try to keep close to me. Okay, like, so also, y'all are also, all pretty much at the front. I was going to say, and Nairin would know by now that that's what me does, because I did that in another session as well, where yeah. it was a case of, as an animal uses a vocal like growl to be like there's enemy this direction yeah okay so you two should know what that means at least yeah 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 uh i i think he might uh he's smell, about to put us into uh, a battle with 23 fucking sort of, people uh, any hostile targets uh, yes Zelfira well does that doesn't narrow it down for us does it there could be many hostile targets do you know does he have a particular type of growl when it's something specific or are we just gonna wing it and still walk into God knows. Uh, Saris at the top That's there. Good Sometimes uh, he has my merch as well. We do not know him well enough to know distinct growls. We just know that he definitely smells something in the area. Uh, how? How? Oh. No. How do I? Work this? Go ahead. What are you gonna say? I was gonna be like, okay. Well, I mean, at least that's something useful right now. Because we have like twenty people right behind us that we now have to protect stuff. and. Uh, you know, my neck is on the line, and if y'all get killed, I'm definitely legging it. So let's let's try to make this as smooth as possible, so we can get the job done. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn to me and be, and kind of just say out loud, me if they if they get any closer without us approaching them, uh, bark. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and he just kind of like nods its head and kind of like <laughs> that's about all it can do. Two wolves bark. Uh, but then, but but technically, actually, just before that, it, it's uh, no, I don't think you're gonna get a bark from me. But um, <laughs> more the point that when you <laughs> to die a wolf. But um, yeah, when, when you start ah. talking to it, I was gonna say the other thing is you notice that the tail starts to wag as well. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I did just Google it. Barking is used as the warning. So, <laughs> worst okay. comes to worst. It would be a bark. very deep bark. <laughs> Bark's a bark. Are you doing that? I am going to look up a die wolf bark. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can even okay. attempt that sound. But yeah. So, are we still... This is out of character. Are we still slowly moving into the moor? Like, are we heading to a certain spot? What... what is the direction we just stopped now because we are aware that there's danger? Uh, I would say yeah, was... at this of him turning into a wolf and suddenly snarling and barking that everyone would stop and kind of question what's going on and then be a little on edge. Um, Interesting, Bach. And Sebastian's like, well, unless it's going to jump out right now, should... We still continue. We have about, ah, he looks up, about three hours before we need to set camp. 
Well, okay. what does your wolf think? <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I mean, have you been in these situations before, or is this the first time you've seen him as a wolf? Like, no. We, how we've long been... have, how how long have you guys known each other? Or am I going into like some kind of chaotic? killing trap between all of you? You don't even know each other, and now we have to protect you? What is this? I mean, we we, we aren't lifelong friends or anything <laughs> like that, but we have fought a few battles together. Ugh, God. This is gonna end bad. This is gonna end bad. No, no, no. Zell, it's fine. It's fine. Alright. What is the plan? Because obviously, I can't speak wolf, and you can't speak wolf. That's very clear. So what do you think we should do in this situation as the protectors of all the people standing right behind us? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hang on, let me look at my spells really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, it's not just me doing chaos! Let's go! Come on, Saris! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I don't know if I have anything that I wanted to do. <laughs> Saris, let's go! Shit, I don't have what I want to do. No. Uh, no, I was gonna. I was gonna see if I had uh, detect evil, but I, I don't. Um, this is, is this coming across fairly hostile as well? I, Wait, what? I would hope not. What? I. Uh, Can I, I think we should. Well? What? What are we talking about? Naren, what? Zell, Zell's kind of <laughs> freaking out about how uh, well they know me as a wolf and the party and everything, and kind of giving Sarah shit. I think we I should. To know it's coming across hostile because me will hear this. He's a fucking direwolf and he's about to get involved. Oh uh, yeah, you can. I mean, you would obviously hear it. You're right there beside us. Yeah, but I'm saying, what, what's the intent? Is it just like paranoid or is it aggressive? That's on Zell. I I can't say if it's aggressive. That's what I'm saying. Can I roll? His, his I mean, side? I would say it's both. We're going into a very dangerous place. You are strangers who I have just met, who now have been brought here and we have agreed to let you protect the people that I've been protecting for God knows how long. And okay. it doesn't seem like you are very well in tuned with each other. So I would say Zell is extremely sus about how this may go down and how this might impact everybody because it doesn't well, seem like a smooth body. Because again, big ass is. The no worries, Polonats. Thank you so much for like dropping in and thank you for the, uh, for the subs. I appreciate it. Between we do and this Zell. at the same time every week, and then I do streams he's another time in between playing all two. sorts of stuff. Uh, he's okay. not doing anything other than but, just yeah, that. Yeah, thank you so much okay. for dropping in. Uh, in that case, uh, Naren, what, what, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I I think we should just continue on. Me will alert us if, uh, if anything is getting closer. Um, We'll know. Yeah, if he notices, yes. Yeah. He does have the keen senses of a, of a dire wolf right now, so yeah. if anything, he'll be able to smell or hear anything that might be uh, trying to hurt us. Great. That's fine with me. So are we oh. moving on? As... Continuing to move, but me is sticking dead next to Saris at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's like nothing even dampens Sebastian's spirits at all. And he goes right on explaining everything that he can about the area and just kind of leading the way. A dense fog starts to roll in. Okay. As y'all keep traveling, everybody give survival checks. Survival? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, 25. Uh, and then... Oh, that didn't do any better. That's a 6, even with a plus 4. Beat it. Beat a 12. I got, I got a I five. got an 11! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay, I'm about... To, I'm rolling for the party now. <laughs> Does my dive have anything? Oh, that my helps God. This. Oh, God. This went south so fast. <laughs> oh. No. I have a 25! <laughs> Saris... If this is an enemy, I would put perception. Is there any perception in rolling here at all? Saris, pick one person. Uh oh. Uh -oh. At random? Uh -oh. Yeah, just one person. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I think I know who's gone. Uh, fucking. Oh, no. Uh, 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 me, I guess. Okay. God damn it. You, 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 you see me. You are with me. Mm hmm. 
Me, roll a 1d4. Naren, roll a 1d4. Zell, roll a 1d4. What is happening? How do I roll a 1d4 on this friggin' thing? Uh, bottom left four. corner, you can do oh, I hate rolls. it here! It yeah. was a 4. Okay. So, me... I rolled a Did 1. Did I see that correctly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 3. What is happening? Oh, I'm oh, I'm writing down everything stuff. <laughs> oh no! It's nice knowing you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a great campaign. We got four episodes <laughs> in. Well done. Well TPK. Done. TPK. <laughs> uh, no, okay, it's technically I, I not because Axion's still alive. So Axion's just gonna come back and be like, <laughs> "What the fuck <laughs> happened to everybody?" <laughs> I runs I runs the rest of the campaign it. alone with uh with Bonan. <laughs> Just solo monk. Oh, uh, that actually works out. Cool. Uh, I don't like that oh, great. Oh, okay. I, I do not like that. What does that mean? <laughs> Naren, you're by yourself. Ooh. Me and Saris, y'all are alone. Zell, okay. you stumble around, but you find the party with Sebastian. Yeah, oh, thank heck. Of <laughs> course, the three of us are fucking on our own. Sure. <laughs> oh, the wonder is like, oh, that works. The three fucking uh, players. Yeah, they, they, of course they're going to be on their own. God damn it. That was not my intention. Fuck. <laughs> um, can I, considering I know their smells, can I, or and I'm trying to hear them, can I roll perception to see if I can locate even a direction as to where either of those two are? Yeah, I'm with you, right? No, we apparently no, we you, just got lost. No, no, no you, you guys are together. You two were together. Oh, yeah, we're right, alone together. Pick, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Random. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, then he... can I try to figure out where Nairin is? Because I, yeah, getting... I don't have the party. Uh, yeah. Perception? Uh, Rowan and... Actually, since you're specifically it's looking for something, but it's still a specific thing. Would that be an investigation because it's specific? Well, that would defeat the purpose, I guess, of the keen hearing and smell then, though, wouldn't it? It would, but... Uh, well, it says uh, on... It investigation. Says check, so when you look around for clues and make deductions based on those clues, you make an intelligence so, check. So, yeah, it, I'm, I'm just trying to an find a general direction. Spot if here, otherwise detect his, the presence of something. Would it? Is perception. I'm trying to spot here, otherwise detect the presence of something. I'm trying to find the presence of Nairin. So that would be... So, no. would that would be, you be would just know Nairin's a, Okay, it would be perception. That would be That's perception. perception. Okay. That's perception. Um, investigation would be different because this is a sense of presence as, as opposed to looking okay. for something. Looking for an item in a room type thing is investigation. See, yeah. that, that's what I didn't know if, since he was specifically looking for one thing, if it was investigation or perception. So, yeah. 15 is the first roll, but I get advantage. Oh, yeah, 15 you, plus 6, so that's you like 21. You Katie? Uh, that's the best one. So, 21. Katie, I'll be no, DMing say, soon. 15. Yeah, um, I'm gonna start my own campaign. You know, wait, which wait, which way were you two? You were. You smell, uh, Nairin behind you. The scent is coming from behind you. Okay. Uh, you see, Saris, you'll see me. Kind of just looks up at you. Uh, in that direction, goes. <laughs> I like, uh, like huffing, wagging tail. So it's not like growling. It's just trying to indicate that direction towards okay. Nairin. Okay. Uh, I stick very closely to to uh, to me, and maybe have him lead me in the direction that he's he's going. All right, Naren, what are you doing? You have found yourself all alone. I'm so glad I chose Diable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was I kind really of, good I kind of choice, random went. Oh, what's what's a what's a creature to turn into for this halfling? And chose Wolf. Oh, he chose right. I, I knew he went there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I guess I guess I'm uh trying not to move too much because I, I don't want to get lost and I don't want to step in anything. So I I guess I'm just trying to uh to listen or use my vision to, to try and see anything at all or hear anything to try and tell where any of the party are. I mean that I did 
You're trying to look through this fog to see if you see anything. I mean, I was gonna say, yeah, your perception uh, I, DC is gonna be so much worse than mine. Yeah, <laughs> I have it's gonna be a disadvantage, and it's gonna, gonna be me. hard because this gonna, is super thick. Yeah, yeah I'd be, I was gonna say it'd be disadvantage, and like if my DC was say like 15, your DC would be like 20. You know what? At least I was relying on hearing a smell. Hey, can anyone hear me? So yeah, we, yes. we haven't tried that yet. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh no. Oh no. Oh right. fuck. So you ye you yelled that out. Well, at least my keen hearing would be uh I might have well I can't right. get double advantage, but you know. I mean, if it's if he's loud enough, I'll also hear it too. So <laughs> well, well he might reduce the DC you know what? If for he my next If he yelled, but... uh Zell, Saris, and me give perception to see if you hear this man yelling. Okay. I was gonna say perception? with the can be you can, yeah. a 14. 22. 15! Well, that's a 20 dirty again. Yay! Oh. Advantage, <laughs> Hear a direction of someone yelling that y'all recognize to be Naren. Um, Is it the same direction that I was already leading Saris from yes. Smell? Okay. So, yeah, you, we, we well. kind of, like, move a little bit faster, Saris. Now that right, we're back uh, on <laughs> Zell, no. you recognize it is coming from... Your left. Okay. Yeah. So Zell hears someone screaming out in the fog. It is just like, all right, everybody, this is what we need to do. We don't want to do that. That's going to draw attention to us. <laughs> we can't see anything in here. So we're going to very quietly go around the long way towards the screaming, but not directly at it. And we need to stay really, really quiet. Okay, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves, all right? Everybody understand? Okay, we're going to go left, stay close, but be really, really quiet. And we start to move very, very slowly and quietly towards the screaming man. Hey, Naren. Hello? Aaron? Here, here it comes. <laughs> Hello? Does a 15 hit? Oh god. Yes. As a bear <laughs> comes charging at you. Oh my god. He is gonna swipe at you with his claws. Oh. See, maybe it would have been. I was gonna say, for perception checks, the die wolf was great. Maybe it would have been better if I was a bear. I could have, like, spoken to them in bear. Uh, <laughs> where is... Bear! Bear, 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 bear. Bear, 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 bear. bear, 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 bear. <laughs> <laughs> bear, bear. I'm gonna. I'm, oh I'm, god! I'm gonna do some things. Take six points piercing damage. Hey, that's not half my health anymore. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> that's so stressful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Naren, roll initiative. I, actually, Just everybody, me? roll initiative. God damn it. 14. 15. 18. Uh, 8. 8. Right. Why do I always fucking get a low initiative, I swear? <laughs> Worst roll of the day. No, so, sure. who had 18? Moi. Zell. Zell. Uh. <sighs> Saris, what was yours? 15. Naren. 14. All right. Yep, we have a bear. Zell, we have a bear. You now hear the sound of a bear All from right. the direction that you heard the yell. It is okay. your move. Um, Zell turns around to the party behind them to start with, and is like, "All right, y'all need to stay here. Stay quiet. Stay here. Do not move. Do not breathe loudly. Stay. Stay. Stay." Um. I Sebastian has his sword out and he just nods at you. Yep, excellent, amazing. We're all yes, great. Um, can I tell roughly like how thick is this fog now as I'm getting closer? Like, how much vision do you think I would have in this particular area? You have about five feet of vision. Oh, excellent. Five. Okay, is, I am going... It is that type of fog where you're in your car, you can't really see the car in front of you. Cool. I'm going to draw my rapiers, and I'm going to slowly walk towards... Like, not slowly, but like, 
as quietly, fastly towards the screaming bear. I hate this. <laughs> uh, I I know I'm reusing a lot of old maps, but <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not quite. I. Where That's you, okay. Hey, oh. Yeah. It's alright. You do what you got to do. It's not a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Is the cart the bear? Alright. Uh. No cart. <laughs> no cart. Bear. No cart. <laughs> no cart. Uh. You do it on the bottom half of the map, you can, uh, yeah. I can pull. kind of hide it. Uh, pull y'all's characters onto the... Yeah. And I will... Which direction well, are we coming from? I will tell you what... Uh, actually, just put your characters at the edge. Um, Zell, you will be coming from the... Right... Yeah, right side of the map, I think. Because I said it's to your left. Um... Who's that on? That's Saris on bottom? Uh, no. That was Naren. Oh. Naren's Naren. already straight down okay. further. Naren's middle. Uh, Saris. Actually, Naren, come down to the bottom, like here. Then okay. yeah. up there. And you two are going to be coming from this the north. Way. Wait, I'm coming up here? Okay. Yeah, you're over. You're from. Yeah. Not that. Okay. You're not that far away. You're about right there. Cool. And let me see if I, I can. Not close uh because we were already heading in that direction or were we just that far you, away you all you also went opposite directions so as naren was walking one way you were walking the opposite so y'all made distance on each other how are you went, opposite if i was walking towards them because i was tracking you no initially at the beginning when you got lost uh, at the, initially yeah, yeah. yeah he went north y'all went south yeah uh let me see Figure, I forgot where the fuck my. There is my what the fuck is assets. Uh. Wow, bear is not a free thing. So. This. It don't look like a bear, but that's the bear. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yep. Okay. Um, and, all right, so, there you, so, you have your rapiers out, and you are moving. Yep. Um, I have a movement speed of 30 feet, so, if, is this where I started, or is this where I am now, after already moving? That is, uh, where you have started. Okay, so I'm gonna move... Is each square 10 foot or? It's five. Five? 20, 25. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna move probably to just here-ish. And because I can still only see certain parts in front of me, I can hear something in front of me, but I can't dictate how close yet. So okay. I'm still creeping through the fog, but looking out for everything around me. All right. Um, that's 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 yeah. Oh, boy. Look, give me another perception check. Still, these perception oh, okay. checks are gonna be free actions. Yeah. But all right. Seventeen. Oh, spec the lost penguin. Right, yeah, Thank you so much you for the follow. you know where everything's coming How from. How you doing? You have Back. a great sense of direction on where the noise is coming from, and you don't see anything around you. Yet though. Okay. All right. So. Yet. Uh, yet. Okay, cool. it's, mine. it's the bear's turn. Uh -oh. oh fuck! <laughs> <God damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> does an eight hit? An eight does not hit. That should. Uh, yeah. Thank God. Yeah. I... Spec, how you doing today? What's happening? Welcome in. Oh, oh, just, just it, 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 fuck, I, I don't, you know what, screw it, I'm not going to use its multi-attack yet, I don't want to, no. <laughs> kill me immediately, <laughs> thanks. Oh, don't be nice. <laughs> you don't no, want no, me to be no, nice? No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Shut okay. up, Retro. Fuck you, Shut Retro. Up, <laughs> okay, no, so. Fuck you, we're no, no oh. metagaming, we're playing this legit. Good luck, Does mate, Zach. Does an 18 Zach. hit. 
Yes, and 18 <laughs> fucking hits. <laughs> Fuck yes. you, Retro. <laughs> All right, it is going <laughs> to. Uh. Hey, Otaku Man. To... You've come I in at the I best time ever. It's going to bite at you. Bites what it did last time, not Qual. My bad. Take. Take eight points piercing Fuck, damage. Eight points? God, fucking Shit. damn it. Does God that damn have it. your health? No. No, he should have more now. Nah, it's okay. Cobra Kai up. It's Cobra Kai up in this household. Strike out, strike right. fast, no mercy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this isn't a great start for me. It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> of course the squishy uh... one's the one's getting fucked. <laughs> Oops, I just clicked on the map. You're the one who yelled out, Jester. <laughs> I <laughs> lost, say, I lost my fault. friends. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I think, Saris, you're next, aren't you? Mm, I have rolled a yes. 15. Yes, you rolled a 15. You're next. So you should be next. Oh, what is that? What, what is what? Fuck. Bear number two finds oh. Zell. Oh, fuck. I love how, like, uh, I've warned you guys of the bears, and we're like, nah, we're still gonna just fucking get involved with them anyway. I'm sorry, I don't speak dog. I don't <laughs> know what you want me <laughs> yeah. to tell you. We are in trouble, I Spec. You? We are what in trouble. What am I trouble. supposed to do? <laughs> in the fog, it misses you and bumps into oh, the tree. Boy. It is dazed for one turn. Ooh, oh, yes. Got a nat one. Nat one. Yep, nat one. <laughs> nice. Oof. I need that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. From there, it will be Saris's turn. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Um, Towards the loud yeah, growling you know, and screaming. Yeah, the loud growling, yelling, yeah. and everything. Yeah. And you already knew which direction. That's Go ahead. Yeah. Hear all that. You're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will move uh, probably to about... I'll go probably to about here, I think. Wait, that's not center. Okay. Um, like there. Um, perception check. Just ev everybody's gonna give one until yeah, that makes you're sense. into something. Just 14. make sure that you're not fourteen. Yeah. yeah, you still ha you're you're heading in a straight line, so you haven't lost the way you're going. Okay. All right. Um, you haven't stumbled I'm... and made any weird turns or anything. So. Okay. Cool. Um, I end my turn. I don't really. If I, I can't. If I can't see him, I can't do anything. Okay. Well, uh, I have to end my turn. Naren. <laughs> this is just like Naren. Um, they... remember that. Remember Fine. that. This yeah. Engage... So I, I would like to disengage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do I know my surroundings at all? <laughs> Like, I don't know anything, I mean, right? You kind of stopped and started screaming and didn't take perception or anything, so... Yeah, yep. Oh. How, no. how do we determine in which direction I run? <laughs> uh, Well, if you want to do perception? it that way and not pick the way that you want, I will roll a 1d4 for the direction you go. Well, I mean, it seems unfair because I know yeah, where shit is on the map. If you just to run into a random direction, I'll 1d4 it for a direction. Okay, go for it. Let's do it. But oh, if you want to pick your direction. All right, Just so are you using full movement? This. I'm being realistic. You... I don't know what I don't. If I pick well, a direction here, is. it's going to be biased. Are okay. you using full you... movement? Uh, okay. Yes, I'll use full movement. Yeah, he's sprinting the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Oh, what direction? You is? run into a familiar face. Oh, hey! Hey, <laughs> hey how's oh it going? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> that worked out great. Oh, uh, stick around. All right. <laughs> um, so you have a bonus action left. I, I, I do have a bonus action. Um, question, uh, DM. Oh yeah. Can, yep. What's, what's that? Can I, if I was to cast hex in the direction I just came from, is there any chance of me hitting? Or can I not see anything anywhere? You cannot see it. Okay. But give a perception check. Okay. 
That is a dirty 20. You Okay, you still know which direction you came from, at least. Okay. So, oh, great. you know which way you went. Um, fa fantastic. Right. From there, it is me. Yep. <laughs> um, well, he's he, just going to head in the direction. He's done he this battle to make where me he was useless. Heading, like where the, the sound and screams were I know, coming from. He doesn't so, know they met up yet. I've got the uh, highest amount of kills. Goes, one, two. But I oh, need to I be able to see everyone. Feet. So, it's just in that direction, bone in. Do I... Because I, am I going straight ahead and just narrowly missing them? Or would I see them? If you get within... You can see within 5 to 10 feet in this fog. Okay, so, so once I get to about here, if you went straight. which is about half my movement speed, I would probably notice them. Stop, but also still knowing the direction of the growling and all that, I would stand, like, here in front of them. Um, okay. And ready my action uh, for if we're attacked. If a All right. comes from um, behind, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Again, I'm writing my action. Perception just to make sure you still remember where it is dashing through this fog. Dashing you found them. The make sure that you're... Uh, that's already a dirty 20. That's okay, a nat yeah. 20. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why you roll advantage. <laughs> what well, is my perception with, on the nat 20? Rip show me, Let's go. You know Team that there's two. Smell. And okay. you now have the scent of Zell. Oh, okay, so at least I know that there's a bear next to Zell. Yep. Hi! But I also don't want to leave you. <laughs> oh, hey, Zell, you exist. Hi. <laughs> Is that all you're doing? I readied my action if I'm attacked. Okay. So only if I'm attacked will I get my action. So, top of the round, Zell. Okay, so I can now see this bear, like, right in front of me. Yeah, sick. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna... I've got my rapiers out. I'm gonna... Hack away at this. I'm gonna try to, License like, to smack the bear. Yeah. Okay. Let's, like, teppanyaki this bitch. <laughs> oh, nice. I need to study! <laughs> um, okay. So... It was nice knowing ya. Does a nine hit? A nine does not. As you go yeah, to cool. swing at it, this bear swats your blade away. Fuck. <laughs> Can I roll a... What a savage frog. Yes. I'm not completely used Perception to... Perception to see if I know where it landed. Wait, where what landed? If I lost landed? my sword? No, as in he oh, no, swatted it away. Oh, oh, he yeah, okay, he, just, yeah, yeah. he went to swat and he hit your sword and blocked it from actually... Basically hitting. parried it. Yeah. Okay. Um... I yep. Give me one. Give me a hot second. I can attack again because I have two weapon fighting. So I'm a smack with my other rapier, I guess, and hopefully fucking hit something. Okay. Twenty two. That does hit. Now, with the second hand, you don't add the multiplier to it, correct? To the damage, no. Yeah, to the damage, you don't add the multiplier. Or... So if you I had like a plus four the... or something, you wouldn't add that. Yeah. Okay. So it would be... Just four. Four damage. Okay. You slash at this thing, and you barely graze it, but you draw some barely? blood. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> uh take yeah, cool. forty points to necrotic damage, Harris. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being All serious. Right. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. So, is that all you're gonna do? Yeah. Bonus action movement. Yeah. Uh, I'm a. Uh... Use my dexterity and kind of like duck and weave around these 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 are these bushes trees. I have the the those are those are bushes. Yeah, cool. I'm a duck and weave around the bushes to put some distance between me and this fucking bear. Okay, that is gonna provoke opportunity attack. I was gonna say it's opportunity attack. Yeah. Oh, but does a six hit? Ooh, no. Nice. nice, nice. So I'm a duck and weave up there. Okay. That's my turn. I'm uh, just... All right. 
it is the bear's turn. All right, and they're going to roll perception to see if they can find y'all. In... Actually, wait, you got to roll perception real quick, too. Make sure you still know the direction you came from. All right. Um... I almost forgot that. Twelve. You do, but barely. It is foggy memory <laughs> of where you came from. Yep, cool. Sounds like normal, right? <laughs> All right, the bears are, they don't know where anything is now, so they are going to roll perception to find stuff. Uh, I'm not stuff. The things um, over there are stuff. Like, just <laughs> fine. Hey, at least, Naren, if uh, the bear does find us and comes right at us, I'm uh, in front. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I've Everybody... got my other action ready. I don't know how to, how to do this. Mm hmm. What are we doing? Everybody roll stealth, and that's what I'm going to base these perceptions off of. Okay. Fuck. Um, let's Eight. go to the orange dice today. That's that's with disadvantage uh, with you, Saris. I but think don't, I don't, no, no disadvantage, yeah. just straight stealth. Just straight oh, stealth. hell yeah. Normally I've got a plus four, uh, zero to stealth, but as a wolf I get plus four. Let's go. Uh, which I needed because that was a seven, so 11. 19. Okay. okay. I have a three plus stealth, and I rolled a fucking three, and I got a fucking six. Ouch. Ouch. All right. Well, goddamn. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. They know exactly where y'all are, because they got okay. a 17. Yep. I rolled a 19, there. you assholes! It's my first good yeah, roll all Naren, day! You're fine. <laughs> but, yeah, but Naren's surrounded. Yeah, so. <laughs> but Na 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 Naren, my... Naren, you're fine as long as <laughs> I am. Yeah, just I'm don't fucking things. move and you <laughs> might be it, fine. Don't move because if that bear comes in our direction, it all has right. to come across me first. <laughs> and I've got so... my attack readied. So I'll get to smack him in the face the second he arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Does a 10 hit? Does a 10 hit? No. All right. Does a six hit? No. All right. You can provoke, you can do your attack, me, because cool. they became within range. So the bear, which again, with the nat 20 from before, he just smells the bear coming at him, and like as it's like emerging out of the fog, raises a porter, smack it in the face. Thank God for advantage. How did I roll the same thing twice? Fuck. Uh, 12? A 12 does hit. Ah. Oh, shit. Thank God. Let's go. Uh, now, can you roll a strength saving throw while I roll my hit die? Or what? Uh, to see if you're knocked prone. Oh, strength? Strength, yep. All right. DC uh, 13. 22. Fuck. Well, yeah, no, you're not knocked prone. It's a big bear. <laughs> um, that'll be 11 points of piercing damage as uh, the wolf splashes uh, the bear across the face as it lunges out of the uh, the fog. All right, so now the bear is going to take its attack at the wolf that it just attacked it with yep, its fat. claws. That's fat. Does a seven, nope, 19 hit. Yes, it does. All right, uh, that is a 2d6. Animal fight, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, pay seven point slashing damage, and it is gonna sure. slash at you again. Okay. With a nat one, it Ooh. misses completely, and <laughs> two nat ones in one fight. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with it here. Well, they're both behind me, I, so. I. Because a bear can't really go prone because it's already on all fours. It, I mean, it technically can, because I can knock it oh, off yeah. prone. It's it can go like, prone, for it's, sure. It's just spread eagle. It's not standing up, it's spread eagle. <laughs> or it falls on yeah. its side, one of the two. I I will give it prone, since I'm supposed to do something for net ones. <laughs> Yay. So gracious, okay. thank you. Cool. All right, so that is now Saris' turn. Okay. Uh, Naren is very clearly fucked up, right? <laughs> Mm. Naren? Yeah. Uh, Naren? Not you doing great. Describe. Not doing okay. great. <laughs> cool. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to take notice of that. I'm going to reach out in front of me, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Oh, my uh, God. Hang on. Everybody take note. The cleric is healing the party. I have healed before, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> We're very Heal proud of you. 
Thank but you. I heal for 11 points. <laughs> oh. <Heal me. laughs> Not healing a single one of you again. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so going I'm, back to normal. Got it. I'm definitely looking a lot better now. <laughs> All right. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, as hang on, let me see. Let me look at my bonus actions really quickly. Um. Uh. I'm gonna move. No, in case some. Okay, no, I'm gonna stay where I am. I think. I'm gonna stay where I am. End my turn. Okay, Still? so you healed Naren and ended your turn. Yep. All right. So from there, it will be Naren's turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, look off into the vague direction where I uh, believe Zell is, and cast Dissonant Whispers. Uh oh, oh why? Uh, wait. Why? Dissonant... Don't you have to be able to see whatever you're you targeting? Yeah, I was going to say... You Dissonant Whispers does not require sight, only sound. So as long as it can hear oh, me, okay. I can cast it, and I don't need line of sight. Oh, sure. Fair right. enough. <laughs> nice. I was going to say, because if you attack the bear in front, you know you get advantage, right, when they're prone. Just, just to, it's, for, uh, to... it's a melee range, though, right? What am I gonna do? Hit it with my fucking little stick? <laughs> oh, yeah, fair, fair. It's not in melee range. It, it's ten feet away from you. But don't we only have a vision of five right, feet? No, it's ten feet you away haven't... from Saras. It's five feet from um, Aaron, isn't it? No, it's it's five feet from you, and whoever's behind you is five feet away. Okay. Oh, yeah, fair, fair, fair. Well, so fuck. It, it's ten feet away. I've already done and my big is, reveal. That is the now. max distance you can see. So. Okay. Well, I've you already done my big reveal now, so I'll help Zell anyway. So I cast Dissonant okay. Whispers. Um, what, what do I got to do? Uh, is, that's a DC, right? Uh, yes, a Wisdom Saving Throw. Okay. What do I got to beat? 12? 19. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, the second you said Wisdom Saving Throw, I'm like, you mean the thing he's beaten every fucking one off? <laughs> it's it's okay. Session. It's okay. Uh, so on a successful save you still Not take half. half damage but you do and you don't have to move away so okay uh so the damage would be uh it was a 16 so take eight eight psychic damage okay <laughs> been 16 damage fuck yeah, me yeah. all right why uh, the bear starts shaking its head <laughs> at Zell, you start seeing the bear shake its head as voices enter its brain, and it doesn't know what's doing. It's kind of pawing at its head, slapping itself. Yeah. All right, and that uh, is that all your turn? Uh. Movement bonus action. Oh. What? Oh wait. Uh, yeah. I will actually. Um. No, you know what? That'll do. Okay. <laughs> All right, me. Mm. Uh, it's going to try bite the bear. Okay. Um, which, I don't, how does that even work? If you've got advantage because of prone, you've also got advantage because of back tactics. <laughs> it's a four roll. Uh, just it. Uh, <laughs> I think it'd be uh, three for double advantage. But uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure how you get double advantage because I know it's a thing. I think you only get that with Lucky. Well, I think that's 21 anyway, so that's a, I already know that's okay, a yeah. hit. That, that hit. Uh, I, can't, I mean, no, it's already prone, so I can't, there's no point even doing the saving throw. Um, that's fine. It's just roll damage, I guess. Uh, 10 piercing damage. Okay. As, I, as it bites it on the arm. This bear is looking rough now. It is getting bloody. Okay. Right. That all you gonna do? That's all I can do. <laughs> all right, top of the round, Zell. Hello. Okay. So obviously this bear has found me, which I am not super thrilled about. Uh, so once again, I'm just gonna attack with my rapiers. Um, okay. Does a 24 hit? It does. <laughs> nice. Alright, so... That would be 9 damage. 9 piercing damage. Okay. And I'm going to take my two-handed weapon fighting attack as well. So, do I have to roll for that one again? Yes, yes I do. 
Does a 21 hit? Yes. Cool. Fuck yeah, that sounds like an and awesome breakfast, that damage Katie. will be... That is so good. Just I am three now. piercing damage. Okay. This bear is bloody. Now. And... Excellent. Movement? Uh... Um... No, I'm gonna stay there. Okay. It is the bear's turn. Uh, we will go to the dire wolf that the bear is going to use its half its movement to stand up. Yep. And it is going to claw at the wolf. Does a 13 hit? Uh, it does not. Oh, nice. nice. Does a 22 hit? <laughs> Do you want to explain okay. what that noise was really quickly? <laughs> no, just a little dog whipper. All right. Uh, take nine points slashing damage. Okay. And See, now bear... the problem is because I was already wild shaped, I didn't get a chance to rage. Ooh. Uh, Otherwise, that could have been true. halved. Now, the other bear is going to. Take a bite attack at Zell. Poor Zell. Does an 18 hit. Yeah. Uh, that is a... Take nine points uh, piercing. Ooh. Then Ooh. gonna swipe at you with his claws after biting. Oh, shit. <laughs> Does oh. a 12 hit? No. All right. And that is all the bears. To Ceres. Okay. I am going to see that bear. Notice that it's close on death's door. So immediately in my mind, I'm thinking Toll of the Dead. I'm going to point okay. at it. Try to fucking hit it with that. Uh, let's see. Wisdom sales. Uh, yeah. Wisdom of 14. Nat 20. You're gonna be fucking kidding me. Okay. Um, cool. Fantastic. These are smart bears. Okay. The one attack that I fucking done the entire time. Um, it's a good thing you healed someone this game. Uh, hang on. Let me see how this spell works really quickly. One of my bonus actions. Uh, do I have to see them? Yes. Okay, I, I end my turn. <laughs> All right. Naren. All right. Uh, I am going to... Mm. I'm going to try and help Zell out again and go for another Dissonant Whispers out into the fucking fog. Um. Okay. Cast Dissonant 11. Whispers. 11. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Okay. That bear needs to take 13 points of psychic damage, and if it is still alive... How do you do it? Yeah! Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, alive. it just, hit, it just <laughs> hears Nairin in its head go, Hey, hey buddy, yeah. fuck you! Let me read the description <laughs> of this spell really quick. Uh, you whisper a discordant melody that only one creature of your choice can, within range can hear, racking it with terrible pain. Okay, so, I guess, uh, basically, uh, I whisper a discordant melody to the bear, and it gets so, uh, so wrapped up in the sound inside its head that it actually pours its, itself and uh, actually tears its own head open and kills itself. Uh, just like that. <laughs> Shit. Zell, yeah. you're, you're witnessing this. <laughs> yeah, for the record, Zell's just like standing here like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? What the hell is this bear doing? Oh my, oh I'm just like, God. oh, oh, it's, yeah. it's on me. It's on me. Oh, yeah, okay. Zell can't oh. hear this. This bear <laughs> yeah. is literally just tearing hear. its own head open. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, All right, is that it? That, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it. All right, me. <laughs> All right. Uh, just going to roll. Emotional for damage. Um, I already know. That's, I didn't know. Don't, I'll roll for the crit, but that's uh, 21. Nah. Uh, so 21 to hit. Uh, go for your strength save again. See if it's not prone. She may gonna kill it. Uh, yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, that is twelve piercing damage. It is looking super, super Fuck. bad. It is <sighs> bloody <laughs> as hell. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Yeah, so the wolf pretty much like jumps to the side of the, uh, like just a little bit to the um, side of the bear and like bites onto the side of its neck, just pulls out a giant chunk. All right, that it? Ah, uh, that's it. I don't have bonus actions as a wolf. All right, top of the round is Zell. Uh, well, Zell has just witnessed this bear, like, floor its own <laughs> head open, and it's, like, dropped to the ground in front of them, and they're like, okay, uh, all right, just, like, steps over the corpse <laughs> and starts walking towards the sounds that they can hear just through the fog, I guess, so okay. I would probably come up to here. Hello? Hello? Yeah, <laughs> where am I there? That's fine. Okay. About um, that, you would see the bear and everything. The bear is prone. Oh, cool. I, I'm I'm a use. Can I can I tap and attack it? Is that okay? Yeah. Am, I, am I just gonna? Yeah, with okay, advantage. Cool. No, how dare? Yeah. yeah, with advantage because I'm prone. Nice. Oh, excellent. Because that was bad. Um, let's roll again. Hello. <laughs> that was a lot better. But 14 hit. Yes. That's on the go ahead, go ahead and finish it. <laughs> oh, cool. So I uh, like I'm just, like walking through this fog, and Zell kind of like comes up and like kicks the bear, and realizes that y'all are here, and just sees this bear like on the ground, and just rapier goes straight down, straight through its like neck. Nice. And I'm like, oh hey guys, <laughs> this bear over there was doing something super fucking weird. I was gonna weird. say. Hey, the, the, if you look up, you see the wolf kind of like not looking at the bear anymore. It's just looking at you with blood dripping from its mouth and still kind of growling, pissed off that you took the fucking kill. <laughs> <laughs> it already wasn't what a fan this? of you. I mean, look, I just watched a bear claw its own fucking brains out. Um, I'm just trying to help you. Look, there's some shit going down in this fog. The, the wolf just goes, like, kind of shakes its head, turns around, and heads towards Saris. <laughs> I give it. I give. I give uh, me a little, a little pat on my head, maybe a little rub against his ear. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. The, the, yeah, exactly. I was gonna say you just see, you see after like as you do that, and me sits down, just the back leg just starts going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. now y'all are, y you four are together with two dead bears. Well, uh, I'm glad that I found you all again. Um, who was the one that decided to scream into the fog? Uh, that that was me. Yeah, okay. Have we learned a lesson? Uh, yes, but just to be clear, I was also the one that screamed into the bear's head, the bear's head uh, and saved your ass. Ah. <laughs> I mean, look, thank you, but we've both <laughs> learned a lesson here now. One is that you don't scream into the fog super loudly, and I've learned to stay away from you. Excellent. <laughs> Great. Um, I left everybody else back there somewhere, somewhere safe. Um, I'm not really sure what you all are doing now like do you need help do you need healing like is everybody okay are we uh, gonna have to hold hands and walk back through this fog together yeah oh, nice chris Cole. Gone, right Bonan? nice yeah it's still foggy okay in that case uh i would say uh we stay close and head back in the direction that you came and meet up with the group uh can i roll perception to see if i can smell so the group yeah uh, got green die. Uh, and advantage. Fuck. Uh, eight yes. plus six, fourteen. Is that enough? Yeah, it's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I just um, rolled to make it look like I wasn't gonna let it happen. Jesus oh, fuck you. <laughs> But yeah, um, it's and, and similar to before, you see the wolf Saris, so, so, and then um, like tail go up, ears go up, um, and indicate to you, like look back and forth, indicating to you to a direction. All right, uh, I think we should we should follow the the wolf. What do you guys think? Sounds good. You seem to trust him, and from what I can see, you can take care of yourselves. So you know, I'm pretty impressed. 
So I'll follow your lead. Right back at you. Cool. Head back to the group. Cool. Um, all right, y'all make it back, and uh, there is. Uh, also, Bonan, you're going to have to let me know time lines as to how long everything's taking. So from the moment that, that I transformed in front of the halfling to where we are now. I mean, about 45 minutes. Okay. So we've still got about 15 minutes before I'm going to revert back. Um, gotcha. So y'all come back, and there's Sebastian still sitting there with his sword up. Well, I see you finally found us. <laughs> uh <laughs> Maybe we should stop for a moment and see if this fog clears up. I agree. Out of game, this is a good idea. A short rest. A short yeah. rest? Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. So as y'all take this rest, the fog starts to clear, but it is getting... Kind of, the moon's starting to come out. And he's like, uh, we're, we're just about an hour's walk away from where we're going if y'all want to continue or we can set up camp here tonight. Really up to y'all. Y'all are the bodyguard protection security service. If it's only an hour, uh, sorry, if it's only an hour, I'd just take the walk. Uh, out of character here, I do have to start stream soon, so I don't know what is left planned for if we were to move forward with this right now. Yeah, uh, I was thinking the same thing. We're almost to the part where I wanted to stop, but if we can mm -hmm. stop, then I'll, if y'all need to stop, do you have like a time frame? Right do you have a time frame? It, it, even if we over. end up in combat, potato, you, what we can do is we can just roll initiative and start immediately into combat when we come back next time. Okay. Uh, so I mean, I don't mind going a little over that. I, I can. I yeah. Just wasn't yeah, sure well, it was in the last like another half an hour or something. So, y'all are y'all are where I want y'all to go right after. So yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, uh, in that case, uh, back in character, uh, if, if it's only an hour, I, I don't see the issue here. I don't think any of us are hurt uh, or need any assistance in the moment, so I believe we can just continue, if that is okay with everybody else. Yeah, it's yeah. okay with me. Uh, and at this point, me is just not, he's not wild-shaped, he's in normal form. Oh, good. Welcome back. <laughs> well, it would have been right, after so the short rest, so... Y'all take y'all's time and y'all continue on. Cool. After about an hour. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but my roll 20 is way too zoomed in. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Sorry. It's a big map. Yeah, I'm zoomed all the way out to fit it. There we go. Now. Mine's fitting. Okay. Oh. oh. Close enough. You know, I forgot to swap into uh everybody's screens again during combat. I keep forgetting to do that. Damn. That's a that's a hard habit to, to start. Damn. Okay, well, I will try to remember that next time. But okay, yeah. Uh y'all are coming in, uh, from, I'll just use this as the, y'all are coming in from this way. He's like, you, Sebastian goes, oh, there it is, the old fort. Why, why, why do I go British? He's not British. Or try to go British. I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, damn it, I'm doing it again. I can't stop it. <laughs> um, this is where we're trying to go. We're going to set up here. Just Gotta find out where we can get in. Okay. Wall seem to still be intact, thankfully. Uh, when you say where we can get in, is this not your fort? Oh no, this is a long abandoned ruin. I just knew oh. it was here during a scouting thing, and I was like, oh, it already has walls built. Be a great place, we just have to get to the side where we can get in. That does seem to be a smart <sighs> idea. Well, I guess I'll take the front of this and leads the way, me leads the way just around uh, to the northern direction uh, and just follows along the wall. All right. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty much following suit. Yeah. Nothing happens there, so it keeps going. Um, and, and as he keeps walking, stop. 
Stop. Over here? Or where he is right there now? There comes an arrow flying out at me from the tower. If we want to lit, if we want to stop right here, we can. Yep. I think yep. we should. This is yeah. where we need to stop. Yep. Kill. Yep. We can come back and roll initiative even next session. Sounds yeah, good. Like... That way we don't lose track of it. Yeah. All right. Let me. I even know exactly how me's about to react. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Remember that. Oh, I know. I don't... Awesome. <laughs> Cool. Um, right. cool. Everybody, if you want to say your goodbyes and everything, uh, yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Yes. Oh, bye. Just, bye. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. I'll switch everyone. it to the normal, oh, the, the um, singular. But. Important thing for everybody: there is no stream next weekend because we are short Axion okay. and Jester. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jester's out as well. Yeah. So no, no stream next weekend for D and D. Okay. One week off, and then we'll be back. Yeah. Cool. No worries. Well, I'm going to switch right. over to the single screen, but thanks again, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I uh, I appreciate you all. I hope you had fun. Um, I have a new thing to play, actually. Let me find it for you. Let me know what you think of this thing. I've got to find, I've got to find the right thing. I'm going to add this to my ending screen, but I haven't done that yet. So... All right, here we go. Thanks for tuning in to another Royal Jester gaming stream. We trust you learned absolutely nothing today. We also trust you had an absolute blast. Drop us up to stay up to date on future streams and all things Jester. Until next time, this is Jester signing off. What did you guys think? Did you like? You need a screen for this? I do need a screen for this. Hold on, let me go to... Alright, here we go. Yeah, I do need a screen. What do you guys think? Do you like? Was it good? I've I've got... I have a few. Um, some of them actually played during that. Chris Kyle uh, managed to trigger two of my brand new sounds um, during that stream. But uh, what do you guys think? Naren was uh, pretty quiet that that uh, that session. There wasn't a lot going on for Naren. It's used. Yo, there's one. Um, I've got to load up a follower one, and I got one for donations as well. That was way more epic than it ever deserved to be. The one bitty, right? <laughs> it sounds like this epic, epic thing, and it's it's a bitty. Um, but yeah. What uh, I'm hoping to do, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I hope he's not here. Um, but the Lantic Potato is about to go live. So we might just uh, carry on for a little bit until I can see Potato go live. Hopefully, he won't be too long. Um, and then we'll raid on over to the Potato. He's going to do the Hot Ones Challenge today. It's going to be amazing. It's a pretty epic one, one bitty though, right? It sounds fucking epic. So, um... Yeah, just to let you guys know as well, I know I may have mentioned it, there is definitely a... I, I know I mentioned it because there's actually a TikTok or something out today about it. Yeah. Um, I will be hosting my own D&D &D, uh, campaign sometime soon. Don't know when it'll be. I don't want to rush things. want to get everyone ready. Uh, Chris Kyle is going to be one of the uh, one of the party members. Also, Ari, the Lanjic Potato, Jules Gem, and Phil's Banana Man. So, um, yeah, I've been working on doing the things there, getting things ready. Um, and yeah, it's over, Bananakin. I have the high ground. There you go. You always had a, um, you always had a walk-on message, Bernan. I don't know why it didn't work yesterday or the day before, whenever the fuck it was. Um, so yeah. Um, Hello? Oh, hey, Retro can't hear, but I want to tell y'all something before y'all leave chat and everything. Okay, no worries. Okay. I'm, s I'm still live. I shouldn't hear it yet, right? Yes, okay. Yeah, what's up? Silence. Uh, okay, well, when everybody... Oh, when everybody's done, I'll tell it. 
Okay. Shit. All right. Uh, let me do a thing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um. All right, guys. We're gonna go raid SB Riddy. Uh, who? Right. I'm back. Retro just raided. Welcome back. We have been summoned to wait Unf around and hear something. Unfortunately, stick around. unfortunately, we oh, couldn't okay. get uh, Potato because he's going to be in the same good. chat that I'm having, so we're fucked there. But I'm guys, thank you so much for hanging, hanging out. That's there it. are the raid messages. Yeah, yeah. First one works if you sub. Second right. one works for anyone at um, all. If you are subbed and you want to use the second one, use the second one. If you want to use something else altogether, that's fine too. But uh, please that's do something to help uh, pump things up when we go over and see Riddy, and I will catch you guys all very, very soon. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Oh, God. Where's Jesse riding to?